Venice. Ah. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, I know. Dude, Mini-Me died. Mini-Me. A year and a half. Society still deems you as unfit to wander the streets. Rest a while in your pillow-filled room. Good morning, you beautiful little pumpkin. Thanks for all the laughs and smiles. I'm beautiful. They said so. I know, you don't get compliments like that. So, um, thank you. Um, no, nah, Mini-Me, the guy who played Mini-Me died. Okay. You insane individual. This all happens at once. I'm going to turn these off. <laughs> the stars. Thank you. Um, no, we got to do something. Tree Mooch, thank you. Um, no, nah, Mini-Me passed away. The guy who played Mini-Me, right? And that's sad. I don't know. I, I didn't have a whole thing. It was just I literally just found out about it like 10 minutes before the stream, so I couldn't set up a thing. And that other guy died, the DJ guy, the Avicii guy. He died. He was like 28 or something like that. What is happening? But then there was that guy who died who was 117 years old, and I'm like, well, that's a good life, you know? When you're a little strange and a little hungry, too. Also, RIP Judge Stone from Night Court. Oh, my God. my favorite pumpkin. Really my only favorite pumpkin. It Welcome, you insane individual. Harry Anderson! Good morning, pumpkin guy. Hope your week went well and you're all doing good health-wise. Yeah. Well, I'm never going to get to this. I'm going to wait ten minutes. I'll be right I back. had a Russian dwarf hamster and I named him Mini-Me because my hamster was a biter. I know. People need to stop dying. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We got to do something about the alert thing because I, I can never get a thought out. And we're, we're on, like, time limits now. And I'll get to that later. Um, no, Mini-Me died. Uh, the guy who played Judge Stone. Well, I think it was Harry Anderson, right? Was it Harry Anderson? I forget his name. And that's sad. He was, like, 60-something, too. You know? We should have had the night court theme. I forget how that goes. Good. I want to rewatch those shows, though. Those are pretty funny from what I remember. Yeah, so everybody, everybody died this week, um, and that's terrible. Like, literally, it, it was like, my God, what was it? Last Sunday or Saturday night, it was Art Bell, and then the guy from Night Court, and then Mini-Me, and then the Avicii guy, and then a 117-year-old person. Harry Anderson. All right, cool. Welcome At least I remember the name. The with David! Oh, so nice, all these rubble walls. Like being smashed in the face with a pillow. Whee! I'm chewing glass. Oh! This month, I dedicated my sub to Gunnery Sergeant Hartley May, who passed away on April 15th. Semper Fi, oh, brother. Man, more people. All right, nobody's allowed to die, including you. Everybody, everybody stop it. <laughs> right now, I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> oh, no, man, this is getting, this is getting sad. This, every, every week, it's like sadness. Oh, God. Thank you, though. Ugh, everybody. Mm. A rabid oh. human has returned to the nut house. We applaud your inability to be rehabilitated. 33 moons. How much longer before I get my own squirrel buddy? We don't have those. We don't have those. You could probably think of another channel. You got a heart, though. See? Thank you. <laughs> I hope that helps. 33 moons. Oh, my God. Spirit Perry says, what happened? Oh, uh, you know, we, we got the 10 limit and still those don't show up. Hold on. Um, tough guy, I need good vibes. As I was diagnosed as diabetic, my blood sugar is high. Yeah, dude, lay off the sugar. No, nah, diet, diet, the diet, diet, diabetes, diabetes. Um, yeah, no, nah, just, you got, I mean, dude, you got to cut back on sugar, you know? No good vibes, though, man. No, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, it, it's. Pretty crappy, a rabid but human has returned to the nut house. It's survivable. You your inability to be rehabilitated. One month. No, it's been more than that, right? Did it? I I feel like Casey's been here for an eternity. Robot. God. Welcome. What is you it? insane individual? Right, I'm going back to my coffee. Then. So on a good note, for the week, my birthday was on Friday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Um, isn't Harry Anderson the big Harry Bigfoot from the movie Harry and the Henderson? Anderson? No, it's Harry and the Hendersons, right? I forget. That movie got this weird cult following for some reason. I saw it. I didn't like it. I, I wasn't like, oh, this is such a great Bigfoot movie. I was like, this is kind of silly. Game of darkness. People need to stop dying. Happiness. Happiness, damn it. 
Yeah, I mean, oh, hold on, hold on. Pull, pull up the, uh, the, the screen here. Hold on. You see, look at this. Look at this in the morning. Stream starting soon. No parking or reality. Sundays, 11.30 a.m. to, well, technically it's 11.14. <sighs> so I guess we can have a little bit of reality for about 15 minutes. All right, at 11.30, no reality. I'm tired of it. No, but uh, reality is fun to make fun of, though. So I don't know what we would talk about then. Uh, <laughs> I got no idea. Let's see. Thank you, Ginger. And Damon Duggan. Uh, 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 uh. Happy belated birthday. See, everyone's doing a happy birthday. Hey, come on, Haley. Oh, yeah, let me say hi to people. All right, let's go. Everwild, Dylan, Dylan Muller. What's up? Yeah, happy to see you, pumpkin guy. Makes makes my Sunday great. Yes, making Sundays great. Dun, dun, dun. And bloody angel, bloody angel. A rabid only... human has returned wow. to the nut house. That was glitchy. We applaud your inability to be rehabilitated. Circus! And to many more throws glitter, hopefully this helps with sadness less than three. Yeah, yeah. But you can't buy happiness. Bound to happen anyway. No disrespect to anyone with any bonding to them, though. I just don't get beat up over someone dying. No, it is inevitable. But, you know, when it happens sooner than expected, it sucks. Happy Sunday to all and good vibes. Just got up to watch the stream before going to work smile. There should be no smiles when work is involved, unless you like your job. Cats and tuxedos, what's going on? Why is everyone... Hold on, hold on. I'm having a bad day. I may not hang out with you guys for too long. Aww. Just a warning. <laughs> Just a warning. A warning, I'm gonna leave. Need some good vibes. My dad was just put on insulin shots for his diabetes, and I've got finals this coming week. All right, everybody start eating better, too. First time I get to catch the beginning of these. Today is the only day I get to sleep in in a week. Happy B day and good vibes to those who need them. Yes, good vibes to everybody who needs them. And get some sleep. Come on. Morning, pumpkin guy. The oh, coffee yeah. must flow. Yeah, it should, but, you know. I don't know. The truck is late. No, because I, I took all that, that sw sweet subscription money and I ordered a truck that is like, you ever see those propane trucks pull up to a house and I got the little hose? We, we got one coming filled with coffee. Have to get back to work, but have some bits. Yes. Goodbye. Have a good week. That sounded almost like, goodbye. Have a good week. I have to go. <laughs> a little melodramatic there, robot. Thank you. Oh my God, the melodrama. Ah, oh, the robot's gone emo. Uh, d d thank you. Oh, so circus. Yeah. Um. What? And I promise to upload a. Cir oh, circus pick. You got the circus. Suck on. Suck on some on. Cool. Yeah, I saw the. I, I saw you your now. glittery pick. And it was very shiny. Yes. Good morning, Jim, Pauline, and Pumpkin Guy. Brian, oh, what's up? How's it going? Tree months. Thank you. Um. Yeah, if nobody's seen uh, Circus's Instagram, they, they, what was it, last week? It was a glitter fest. She looked like a disco ball. <laughs> oh, it was fun, though. Come on. Uh, wait, the robot said pumpkin guy right. Yeah, it must have been a mistake, right, robot? Yeah. Why, well, did you enjoy your 420 a little bit too much, and now everything is kind of cohesively coming together, and you can say pumpkin guy? Yeah, yeah, that's what we need. Pot-smoking robots. It's the beginning of the end. Maybe that's how we could stave off the whole Skynet thing. You know, just kind of... Whatever. Welcome oh. to the Nut House. Hey. Well, there should be a different... Oh, God. 31 moats. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're insane. Insane. I want the alternate alerts to keep popping up, but they don't. What is the point of random if it doesn't random? <sighs> da 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 <laughs> that was a good thing. Look, dude, the good Marines never die. They just regroup in hell and attack up. <laughs> oh, that is cl classic and true. Seriously. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah, stay hydrated, bot. Is that a thing? Wow, it has been a while. Last I was here, it was five bits. Also, I'm going to be 30 next Saturday. Robot, did you say 30 or dirty? Well, if you don't shower till next Saturday, I could see you being dirty by then. But um, I'm going to assume it said 30. Now I got to go back and look. 
30. Oh, happy birthday. Okay. I thought it said 30. She sounded like 30. No, and I thought that was a little strange. It's like, oh, also, I'm going to be dirty next Saturday. What? Ew. Thanks for the warning. Um, Thanks for the follow. <laughs> happy birthday. I'm sorry. No robot. Speak clearer. You druggy. Uh, 420 to sequel. Type hydrate to make it go away. Some mod do that. I'm busy here. <laughs> My birthday was Monday the 16th. I watched all three Austin Powers movies. Now I feels for many me. Aww. We are all mad here. Ghost Panda. Four moons. Good vibes to you all. Good vibes to you all. Welcome back, you crazy individual. Have a cookie. Thank you. And uh, Fang. <laughs> Fang King. King of Fangs. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you. We do have to do something about the alerts because it's like the first 20 minutes of this is this. And my gift to you, Tilda. Hey, thank you. What does it say? The little, that's got a word, that little squiggly. What did it say? Soda? It's called a soda? What is it called? What's that squiggly line called? Thank you. What's up? What's happening here? And NBC, let me say hi to people. I got, I got Dandy Space. Hello. I got Dandy Space. He's a Bob. Circus. I said hello to Circus, right? I didn't even know that thing had a name. Tilde? It's a Tilde? Tilda? Tilda Swanson. Is that a person? Why did that name pop up in my head? I have no idea what's happening anymore. Uh, New God of War came out. Nordic mythology. Woo! Yeah, I saw a couple of people playing that. Um, it looks fabulous. Um, I kind of don't like... Because, of course, every streamer has got to be playing it on hard mode. Oh, hardest difficulty. Why, why are you abusing yourself? I've been sick for three days. Hardly got out of bed, but I decided that I had to watch the stream. Dang. Love you, guys. Can I get some good vibes? Good vibes. Three days being sick. You know what? The best part about that is you're probably at the tail end of your illness. So you will get better. Just give it another day or two. You start feeling better. Get out of the bed. And be like, ah, oh, yeah, this is all right. I'm feeling a little bit better. Not 100%. You know, but, you know, getting better. Now I'm up at 80%. And then 90. Then 100%. Then all of a sudden, somebody gives you some weird hallucinogenic substance, and then you feel like you're 150%. And you're like, yes, I can take on the world. <laughs> See, so you'll get better. But, no, sometimes that happens. Um, mm, Good vibes. Bought God of War, and he loves it. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, God of War is just like one of the best looking games I've seen in a while. No note. No note. Evertrax, thank you for not noting. <laughs> thank you um yeah but dude I, I saw a couple of people like trying to get through it on like hardest mode and it is like an a abusive dark soul we applaud your inability to be rehabilitated 33 moons have i been on that long it really doesn't seem that way i know when, when i see a 30 30 month thing come up i'm like no but no we're creeping up on 30 years there's um what 192 days till halloween right so that's what we're going to assume I was born on Halloween. So it'll be like, uh, yeah, uh, what? Three years. That'll be my three year birthday. Right. I think I don't keep track anymore. Now, after two years old, you just don't care about your birthdays. Um, let's see. 9,000%. I'm 9,000%. Yeah. That's bath salts right there. Mm. KC. Greece versus Turkey. Greek diplos or Turkish delight. I like tzatziki sauce, so I'm going with Greek. Who doesn't like tzatziki sauce? Oh, my God. It is so good. Gyros. I love gyros. Some people call them gyros. I call them gyros. Like a gyroscope of flavor. Okay. Uh, the God of War mode and God of War seems extremely lazily done to me. Just make everything a damaged sponge and hitting like a truck. Is, yeah, well, that's the thing. It's like you got to Dark Souls it where everything just like one shots you. And it's just like, why am I playing this game? And I play it on relax mode, like uh, God of Snore, where you're just like, 
Yeah, no, that's all right. I just want the story. I don't want to abuse myself or cripple my hands playing a game, you know? It's ridiculous after a while. Gun it! Gun, gun guy. What? Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Danger. Caffeine levels low. Warning. Coffee truck delayed by cream cheese bagel spill on 57th Street. Oh, God. LOL. This day just gets worse. Coffee delay, cream cheese bagel spill. Oh, my God. Those cars are going to be slipping all over the highway. Welcome, my unstable friend. Chiron! Was that five moons? I got it so small. Make the text bigger. I'm going to complain all day. That's my thing. Uh, but let's see. What's going on? Lulz. Gyro Mike Gyro. <laughs> oh, Dawn's back. Dawn is back. She's back from Florida. And what a harrowing story. Okay, here, now here's the thing. Because she goes to get on a plane, Welcome right? To back, come you crazy back home. Individual. And I'm never going to get through this, so I'll do it later. Bonfire! Thank you. Um,. Yeah, we're doing. We're changing the alerts next week. Next week, we're changing the alerts. They're going to be silent, silent but deadly, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, so Dawn's back. Dawn's back. Right. She she goes to get, get her flight home. Right. So she's you know waiting in the airport and blah blah blah. Um. Apparently, I'm getting interrupted yet again. Welcome back, Dawn. I'm trying to get to the story. I swear we'll turn alerts off. <laughs> um, no, so she she tries to get, she's, you know, everyone's there. It's waiting for the plane, right? The plane shows up and it's like, oh, okay, there's going to be a little bit of delay. People are looking at the plane, like kind of confused. Oh, no, what's going on here? And with recent news events, of course, they don't want to take any chances. Um, the altimeter is broken, right? So they're like, oh, all right, the altimeter is a little broken. You kind of want to know what that is and how it works, because I think it tells you how high you are in the sky. That's kind of important if you're flying. Um, so the altimeter is broken, and they're like, all right, we're going to try a couple of things to try to fix it. Like an hour and a half passes. It's not fixed. Then they get on the thing again. They're like, oh, we're going to try a We're going to try turning it off and on again. Literally, they went. They went with the the IT crowd. Did you try turning it on on off again? I mean, m literally, that's what you're gonna do. Try turning the plane on and off again. What? All right. Meanwhile, where you live, Dawn's just trying to get on a plane, right? You had to drop off her car, right? Well, your parents were gonna do it. You don't drive. Um. We had to drop off Don's car at a commuter parking lot because you don't want to leave it there for two weeks. Um, so we were going to do that. So, you know, your parents are driving there and they're just like, all right, cool. We're by the Oh, there's like all these cops around and all this crazy things are happening. Apparently, on our end, the catastrophe, there was literally a huge gas leak where we were literally going to place the car. It's like, here, you, you want to just smoke a cigarette and ex explode half of Connecticut? Yeah, literally, this is what was happening. So we couldn't park the car there, so we had to make alternate arrangement. Dawn is still stuck in Florida while they reboot the plane, which did not work. So at like 6 o'clock, they're like, hey, uh, anyone who's going to head up to New York, uh, not happening today. So you might want to reschedule uh, your flight kind of. Of course, everybody's checked off and beating each other up in the terminal. Um, so she's got to reschedule the plane. And we got to bring the car back from the gas-filled state of Connecticut. And everything just stopped. Everything stops. Nobody gets on a plane. The car is still just stuck stuck in a, outside that thing. And it's just like there's. it was a series of unfortunate events that just... It was fate. It was fate. But, you know, Dawn ended up getting picked up by her sister. Um, they went to a gas station. She bought a lotto ticket. And we're like, I really hope she wins this $100 million, you know? Because that'd be good. Bought a lotto ticket in Florida. We're keeping our nubs crossed here that she won. Maybe we should check that ticket now. No, oh, then I won't have to finish the stream if we win. <laughs> no, I would still finish. Um so, yeah, she had to come back the next day, and still that was, uh, you know, oh, this is delayed. The transport was delayed. Though uh, the transport area where we were dropping off the car, the commuting parking lot, was not on fire. So that was that was a step in the right direction. So um, anybody who's ever taken a flight anywhere, you know how frustrating it is to just sit. Who tries to? We're going to turn it on and off again. 
Literally, that was the announcement over the Yeah, we're, this flight in, uh, from Florida to New York is going to be delayed, but uh, what we're going to try to do is turn it on and off again and see if it were What? It's not like a laptop. Like, oh, damn, the, you know, bad Windows installation. Let me restart. No, not with a plane. Oh, my God. Uh, so then, then she had to get the second plane on the way back, which was completely different. There was no televisions. It was literally a slight step up from... Um, the flight Indiana Jones had in the Temple of Doom with all the chickens on it. I'm just like, really? She better get a refund for the difference because that was just terrible. We didn't even get, like, uh, they didn't even give us treats. You know, Don tries to get us those little Biscoff things that are on the planes, but you know, she couldn't bring them back because they didn't have any. Okay? And they were doling out half cans of soda like like it was like they were conserving it because it was the apocalypse or something. I'm like, dude, just give me a full can of soda. God. But she arrived safely, yet a little bit more aggravated. Uh, yeah. Okay, just so I understand, and please tell me this isn't the case. They didn't turn the plane off in the air and then quickly turn it back on, right? Because that would flash in my mind. That would be funny. Hey, let's try turning it on off again. <sighs> I don't know if my cat is trying to piss me off or is a klutz, but he tried to, to jump to the stove and knock a kettle of water over. I think it's a little bit of both. I think you will find most cats are a little bit clumsy and a little bit, hey, I'm going to piss you off. That's what they do. They're cats. You know? Like what? Your cat when he chewed through the electrical wires. Yeah, it pissed you off and he was kind of stupid. Also, what was up in the news with the tainted eggs and romaine lettuce having salmonella in like 50 states? Who pissed off these farmers? Let's <coughs> cross our nubs. No more poisoning of yummy things. Less than three. Yeah, well, I would probably talk to Monsanto about the whole farmer thing. Explosions. Explosions. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Um, yeah, but it was, it was kind of annoying. It was really annoying. It wasn't like death defying or anything. Um, but I got to tell you, I am not getting on a flight anytime soon. I think we should just invest all our money in a, in a giant camper and, and we can all live on the road. There is nothing wrong with insanity when you see what normal is. One moment. Oh, come on, come on, Goku. <laughs> I got dyslexia. I can't, I'm just going to say Goku. Thank you. Thank you. Twitch Prime. Yes. Um, that's a still insane. Apocalypse Soda. From the, re <laughs> from the recycling of our goods, we'll build a better one. Who does that? Who gives you half a can of soda? And then it's like, what, what are they going to do? Just give the other half? It's like, dude, I paid for this soda. The hell? Gun guy. What's up? Cats are all natural, ecologically responsible chaos squads. Yeah, pretty much. They are. Ugh. It's true. They speak the truth. All right, what else did I miss? I know I was going on about the long-winded story there about the rebooting the plane. No, not in the air. This. I'm so hungry for sushi. What? I don't know. Do they have uh, Uber sushi that just drives sushi to your house where you live? Maybe you want to do that. Did you miss anything? Um, no, we just had the short story about Dawn's flight back home, which was a catastrophe. Yeah. Speaking of feeling at more than 100%, I went shopping yesterday and carried some heavy stuff. Afterwards, I felt so freaking strong. Could, I, I felt I could lift 300 pounds. I wouldn't try lifting up 300 pounds. That's, that's dangerous. But good for you. I don't know. What else did we do? I had a list. I had a list. It was a short list. It was more like a sticky note of what we did. We didn't do anything. We did work. NBC what? Airplane firmware update. Yeah, right? Dude, dude is your firmware up to date? Uh, update the firmware, restart. No, they literally had to get a part from, what was it, Alabama or something like that? Yeah, it took like, like what, 15 hours to get there? So everyone was stuck there till the next morning who was going to take that flight till 10 a.m. What? If humans and pumpkins were meant to fly, we would all have bitchin' wings decked on like their Harley Davidson. But we don't. So we have to put our trust to a flying anchovy tin. They needed to download another wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to try turning it on and off again. You're going to have to do that with cars one day, you know. 
Seriously, self-driving cars, you're going to have to reboot them every once in a while. Oh, uh, uh, you'll be on like AAA. It'll be like, oh, uh, well, did you try turning it off and on again? Well, no, the problem is that it's off right now and it's not starting up. Okay, we're going to try a hard reset. Get a paper clip, stick it in the exhaust, and uh, hold it for 30 seconds. You have to disconnect the battery, too, just to make sure it gets, a, like, you know, powers down. It does the power cycling. Literally. One bit. That's not showing up. I just wanted to let you know that I traded my girlfriend's 2010 Ford Taurus for a 1966 Ford Mustang. What? She gave me her old car after I bought a new one. Now I have a not finished. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I can't read that. Are we sure it wasn't a gremlin on the wing? It could have been. I got to resituate. Mm. Good morning and good vibes. Just re upped my Twitch Prime sub. Hey. Ya A. Ya A. <laughs> you suck, robot. Anime fanatic, thank you. <laughs> Soon we'll be flying in 3D printed planes. No thanks. As long as they work and they don't have to be rebooted. Um, Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And good deal on that car. My God. I'm going to get a 66 Mustang. God. Let's see. We already have to do that with cars. Yeah, well, not ours. We got an old Hyundai. Well, you need to format and restore at 110 miles per hour on the fly. So sorry. Thank yeah. you. Come again. You imagine? Need to download more RAM. <laughs> My car is out of RAM. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, what kind of car do you get? I got the i7 processor. It's like an eighth generation i7. Oh, uh, really? Maybe that's why mine's running so slow. I just got an i3. An i3? What are you kidding me? Then Apple will make a car and it'll just, it'll outdate itself in about six months. Like, oh, I was driving around. It was working fine. But now, I, I you know, nothing else works. The GPS doesn't work. The tires don't work. It's just, uh, you know, Apple. <sighs> dun, dun. You already have to do that with cars? No, that's why we like older cars. The fewer electronics in a car, the happier I am, you know? Because, like, what what are you driving around in? Well, what, what's Dawn's car? It's a really old Hyundai. Yeah, it's like, it literally still has a tape deck, okay? And even that doesn't work. Needs more RAM? Will a sheep do? <sighs> oh. Oh. Consider, considering I can lift 250 pounds, 300 pounds isn't much more, but it is significant. You can lift 250 pounds? Wow. I, I can lift like 25 on a good day, on a good day. You know, I got, I got to kind of build up to it. Uh, so what, 25 pounds is nothing to sneeze at? Because then you get boogers all over the weights and then you can't really lift them. They could slip and fall on your foot and hurt you. That's what the heart's old, I think. Well, sheep you too. Oh, thank you and thank you. Um, let's see. Da -da -da. Bah, here we go. Bah, bah. Uh, bruh, do you even lift? Um, no, we lifted that cup of coffee the other day. Welcome back, you crazy. It was 22 cookie. ounces. Have a cookie. Jordy. Jordy. 33 moons. Thank you. It's a long time. It's a long time to be putting up with this nonsense. Wow. Um, thank you. Mm -mm. Do I live? Dude, not. Dude, 22 ounces is, you know, it's pretty big. Damn, you go to be kidding me with these bad puns. <sighs> oh, jeesh. Can you imagine Apple inventing eye tires? Eye tires, right? Your tires need to be updated. Your tires won't work with iOS 11.3.2.7.8.3. The developer of these tires needs to update their tires. What? <laughs> no, I don't like the new tires that are like, oh, your tire needs air. Uh, shouldn't you be responsible enough to check that when you're on the road? No, I need a little thing to tell me. Well, why? I don't know what it needs. <sighs> Look, and here's the thing. We don't have a license, but we know to check the oil, the tire pressure, and 
What else? Make sure there's gas in the car without having a light flash to tell me what's going on. Oh, your tire air pressure is low. Yeah, I know that. You don't have gas in the car. Yeah, I know that. You know, it's like you keep up with it. Oh my God. I know if there if there isn't an alert on the phone, people don't know what to do. Eye tire. Eh. The robot did the puns pretty well. Mm. Eye tires? And that's the origin story of the movie Rubber. Dun, 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 dun. That's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 that's me when I tell my husband what's wrong. I check, I check the basics, the fluids and stuff, but any other light or whatever, I'm just like, help. Oh, yeah. I mean, other, to, other than that, I don't know. If the engine light comes on, I, I just assume it's on fire. Um because I, I don't know anything about, you know, engines. I can barely change a bike tire. But I can, I can put oil in the car. And I could fill it up with gas. And uh, I could put air in the tires. So it may not be able to go anywhere. But, you know, it's got a full tank. The oil is good. And uh, the tires are working. You know, you kick them. The sheep. Ugh, sheep clip. Oh. Good morning, guys. Finally, I gave him yesterday and bought an electric razor to shave my head, yes. which is a thing I do often because my hair grows so densely it doesn't dry for hours and I get scalp problems because of it. How do I stop people from asking if they could pray for me and get? And get them to know that I don't have cancer. Um, I don't know. I know nothing about cars, mostly because I don't have one or my license. I don't drive. Yes. The first time I tried to learn how to drive, my mom was in the seat next to me. She kind of yelled at me to hit the brake. I freaked out. I hit the gas and I almost took out the garage doors. Cars are a C. Dude, it was like two more letters. Cars are scary. I gas. It tires. I brakes. I oil. I scream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Copyright. Trademark. Apple. Ice cream. What do you call a snake that works for the government? I just thought the whole government was a large snake. Sorry, I'm late to the stream. I got caught up playing God of War. And I don't blame you. That looks awesome. I'm never going to play it because I don't want to get frustrated. Mm. A civil serpent. Ah, uh, civil serpent. There you go. Civil serpent. You could put that all in one thing. You don't got to just space them out. But it did give me time to think about it. And I just assumed uh, the government was... Uh, an evil snake. Kind of like Satan. No, there's nothing else to that. That's just how I think. Um, eh, I can't drive because my mom freaked me out while learning. Oh, dude, that happened to you too? Huh. We just don't drive because we've seen other people drive, frankly. We don't drive because everyone else is a terrible driver. That is why. Hmm. Rabbit. I can relate. My mother taught me to drive and would hit me and scream at me while I was driving. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, no, that's 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 a that's a safe way of learning, too. You know, what the hell are you doing? Hit the brake. I'm driving here, Ma. No, you're not. I told you to reboot the car. Come on, Mom's chill. <laughs> oh, my God, that must have been terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Apple Car gets a system update while you get uh, while you're at a gas station and refuses to let you open the tank because of security verification from all right and then you got to put in your security code and if you put your security code in wrong a couple of times it wipes all your progress wipes everything I just asked my mother if she would like to get out and walk I'm assuming that's in reference to a car. I just know if you're having a conversation and you're letting me in on this. Like, hey, Ma, you want to get out and walk? Yeah, this pumpkin guy is not very interesting. We can go for a walk, though. Nice Sunday stroll. You know, maybe pass by the church and, uh, I don't know, wave. They got free bread. I hear they got wine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> get out and walk. I know, reference to the car. Okay. My brother would drive with his knees while texting with both hands. Oh, God. 
No, 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 no. Uh, don't do that. Seriously. Thanks for the follow. Well, who was that uh, one lady that you knew that, that would literally, uh, no, because she, she had a very large chest. She would drive with her chest um, while trying to, like, tie her shoe or something like that. And you're like, all right, that's the last time I'm going to get in the car with you, as interesting as your driving technique is. Um, no. No. My mom dro- drove me all the way to what? Oh, I missed that. Uh, my gra- well, I'm at my grandmother's house, uh, and the shower in the guest room is so small that I will. Why are you giving me architectural things, man? Architect- What's uh, Again with the shampoo. Come on. Um, I'll see you guys later. Oh, there you go. Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy it. Let me go away. My ex used to drive with... No, don't do that. Come on. My brother drives like a maniac. I think he believes in the Fast and the Furious. I swear there are so many people who have like watched those movies and they're like, oh, I can do that. No, you can't. You can try. Then you got to see like 150,000 different YouTube videos of people going to deja vu, that kind of thing, and just like skidding in front of people. Stop that. Ugh. I would like to drive, but with my depression, I have had some visual hallucinations. So, yeah, how does depression give you visual hallucinations? Does that happen? Thrift store finds? Uh, we got two things, nothing exciting. I can kind of drag them out here later. But, you know, we got a CD and a DVD. Woo, you know. It was like slim pickings. Dawn went to one in Florida, though. They literally had a section. It was huge. It was like the size of a Walmart. They had a section for, like, Apple merch. It was like all their old computers and stuff. And I was like, no, I still want one of those old tacky looking. um, What do they call them? iBooks, the clam iBooks with the funky colors. I think I want an orange one. Big surprise. My older sister likes to text at red lights. I worry about my nieces and nephew. Everybody stop texting on your freaking phone, because if I get into an accident because you're sending a text, I will kill you. Like, flat out, I will jump out of the car and I will beat the living life out of you. If I see a phone anywhere near your body, it is going to be inserted into it, all right? I do not need to be brutally mangled by some idiot texting, I'm on my way. No, you're not, because you're on the side of the road in a ditch, you idiot. God. No, I mean, compared to drunk driving, texting seems like worse in my opinion they actually say it's worse or the equivalent of i forget what the science did but they did a thing and it says it's just as bad if not worse because it's like you're constantly drinking <laughs> it's ridiculous i have a depression and i don't think that's happened to me uh yeah i knew you you're always depressed and you haven't seen things right maybe it's the meds maybe it's the meds are you on meds for that maybe it's a hallucinogenic med thing yeah i wouldn't want to be hallucinating when driving yeah that's good don't drive mm, take the bus uh, CD and DVD. Yeah, I know. Amazing, right? Wow. Um, I also have anxiety and apparently ADHD. Everyone's got ADHD nowadays. Uh, thank you, doctor, for diagnosing me with one thing I don't have. Yeah. Join, join the club. Hey, you got ADHD. Really? Are you sure? And, you know, you keep staring at them because they're, they're like waiting for you to kind of just look at something else and get distracted, but you just keep staring at them. Are you sure I have ADHD? doctor and they're not gonna keep waiting so they could be like yeah you see how you're looking around all the time then you just keep staring at him no i seem to be unusually focused right now mostly with anger a little bit of rage but um apparently if i have adhd i should be looking around at different things right now instead of staring you directly in the face wondering if your diagnosis is actually accurate i'd like a second opinion Thank you. No, nah, man, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Not in the mood today. And digital last company you made quality Blu-ray players is stopping production. So pick one up while you can. Really? Now Sony makes good ones. They make still make decent Blu-ray players. We we literally when we find one, we actually pick them up. Like if as long as they're cheap, because we got one for. Uh, $15 and then one for $25. One was a Sony. One was some weird brand. I don't know. But both of them are very good. Rant. All right. I'm situating. Hallucinations can be temporary symptoms and some mental stuff. I have schizophrenia. Oh, well, that, that'll explain a lot. 
which is basically bipolar with symptoms of schizophrenia, which in case of the audio hallucin... Oh, auditory hallucinations! Oh my god, yeah! Um, but if it's only one of those severely stressed out, which hasn't happened in a long time, good, don't get stressed. because You don't want to be hearing things. Now, I hear things sometimes, but then they actually be, they're actually there, which is kind of crazy. You know? Because they're like, dude, what, what do you have, dog hearing? Apparently. Wow! Ah, good guy! The what ifs of texting include people walking down the road and running into people, poles, signs, and parked vehicles. Why would we trust them driving? I don't know, but I'm lagging right now. I mean, my ISP is texting. Um, yeah, no, nah, even even uh, you know, even the distracted things like distract. What do they call them? Distracted pedestrians. Yeah, I'm a trucker and I deal with idiots. Eh, driver every day. Oh my god. Oh my God, dude, it is like, it is, it's chaos out there. You know, on the road every day, it's hell. Mm. I also found out the person who was watching my puppy was uh, taking her for a walk, went to answer text matches and to let go of the leash and lost my dog. All right, that's a lawsuit right there. Um, who? Uh, and this is why you don't have a babysitter. You know what? If you ever hire a babysitter or a dog walker, you're like, okay, as soon as you get into the house, I'm taking your phone. They're like, wait, what? No, you use the house phone, the landline, and have a really old phone there, one with the rotary dials. <laughs> That's all they could use. You're like, how do I text on this? You don't. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Yeah, that's what you want. You want a babysitter texting all night. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so livid. Uh, all right, this is getting old. Everything's getting old. We're all getting old, let me tell you. <laughs> it's good to hear what? Uh, reality just helps. There's another catch. What? I'm going to get coffee. Hold on. It is amazing how many idiots challenge 85,000 pound big rigs on the highways with their 3,000 Prius. Dude. What? Who would do that? I, I, no. If you're if you're in a Prius, you don't even challenge an SUV. Okay, you don't even challenge a Outback Suburban. Okay, no Subaru, whatever they call them. Um, just get the hell out of the way. Seriously, my God, who would do that? No, nah, Dawn is usually very good. We always try to get out of the way of the trucks or get behind them and use them as a buffer. I got these bits on sale. Oh my God! That's right. There was a bit sale. If yeah, I think if you have Twitch Prime, you can get five dollars in bits for a dollar. It's like insanity. Of course, they did this Monday, and I missed all of it. Okay, I just saw that someone isn't allowed to drive because they're autistic. I don't mean to be insensitive, but why is autism considered a bad thing? At least the small cases where people are still functioning. I mean, most people with it are highly abnormally intelligent. Cheer one, cheer one. Yeah, we de we definitely have some. We're in a spectrum autism, but unfortunately, the autism spectrum is wider than a rainbow covering the globe, apparently. So there's different levels. You know, there are functioning ones and ones who aren't, and you'll know when you meet them. To respect truckers, I don't merge until I know they are well away from my car. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing about truckers. I, I just want to make sure this giant vehicle isn't anywhere near me. Yeah, give them a break, you know? Eh. A test of speed and skew. A bumper sticker I want to see. My pet snail can outrun your sports car. Is that possible? Maybe. Uh, pumpkin guy and chatters. Hope everyone is having a great... Oh, 420! Sunday. Uh, Sunday with awesome vibes. Wait to see how long I stay on scene. Oh, come on, man. We were talking about stuff. You know? God. No, we missed 420. Like, literally, the day and, and the the person. I don't know. So it's been a bad week for us, apparently. Uh, sorry. Paper pumpkin guy. I'm a paper pumpkin guy. We're not doing that again today, are we? We did a lot of work for nothing. I'm just letting you know. Um, hope you're well today. Eh. Eh. 420. Good times. It's 422. It is. It is. We're two days late. Isn't there an Earth Day coming up? Isn't that a thing? Oh, and no, 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 no. There was a, a thing. Hold on. 
The sensitive hearing thing you have is one of several types of sensory sensitivities that can come with autism. Asperger's especially has the hearing thing. Oh! I know because I have experienced it too. Electrical fixtures are so annoying and no one hears it. Oh no, Dawn can hear electrical fixtures. I can hear them, but I don't care about them. What bothers me is really loud, sudden noises. It's like a PTSD thing. Um, but yeah, not loud noises. We're just, we're like, oh, it is, it is like physically painful to our soul. Yeah, we can listen to music really, really loud. I don't understand. Shadow Wolf Games. Happy Earth Day. Earth. Earth Day. Is that today? When is it? When does Earth Day happen? Not to upset you, but did you miss National Record Store Day yesterday? Oh my God, we did. But we went. We went to a thrift store. Crap, man. I completely forgot about that. Now I'm upset. Good job not upsetting me. You're you're awesome at this. <sighs> Come on! It was record store day yesterday. I freaking unbelievable. Holy crap. No, because Dawn came back like Friday. Um and it was just like, you know, we just kind of spent time with her and stuff like that, and it was just record store day slipped our mind. But I guess that means you care, you know. If you could forget about, you know, record store day because Dawn showed up again, I guess that's something. Yeah. Was taking the bus from the mall a month or so ago. A mining truck almost hit the city bus. That would have been crazy. Remember that one time in New York when a car hit the hit the uh, bus you were on? Yeah, the bus didn't even feel it. We, it just like kept going. It was just like it was like a pebble being thrown in the ocean. No effect, right? It was ridiculous. Uh, I always miss record store day because of work. Uh, oh yeah, dude. It's just you know, it's just terrible. Stop with the hearts. Mm. I can't start looking for her until I get home from my grandmother's house, which is going to be a little after five or six this evening. Come on. I hope, you, I hope you find your dog. I hope you find your dog. We need good vibes for dog finding. Well, 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 well. well the dog knows where it lives, so it'll probably it'll probably come back. Most, most like 90% of the time, they do. You know, same thing with cats. It's like, you know, they always seem to find their way home. Though cats take forever. They're like, oh, I'm going to be out for about... Uh, seven weeks and you know when i get back just make sure it is uh food it's like what dogs usually come back you know they're very routine and like their area so hopefully everything will be good man uh happy sunday happy sunday i'm so uh was there any really good record store day releases that i missed because you know just like uh because now i want to go look for them and they're good you know price is going to be jacked up because everyone's going to be selling them online for a billion dollars Oh, uh, see, good vibes for dog finding. There we go. And I'm going to have some uh, coffee and solidarity. Good vibes to all the creatures that need them. All the creatures, even the dark ones in the uh, dark neither that could come and break through at any given point and destroy us all. Good vibes to our, our new Lord Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Cthulhu. I still don't know how to pronounce their name. They're going to kill me. Uh, can you say what? Turkish Delight is so delicious. Bagels derp. We have an airport bagel. It's like four days old now. Well, two days old. I'm not eating that. But we do have the cream cheese. So maybe we'll eat that. I don't know. We haven't had a bagel in a while. We gained like five pounds. How did you gain five pounds not doing anything? Well, you didn't do anything. No, because we had like the ailments and stuff like that. And we weren't really doing anything so we gained like five pounds in like two weeks fat man stop it you know no you go to the doctor for the checkup and he's like oh yeah i see you gained like five pounds and we're like yeah how did that happen he's like i don't know he was like what what were you doing nothing well that explains it oh okay way to go doctor here's twenty dollars for that <sighs> you've been eating healthier so <clears throat> what good vibes to the dark lord <laughs> Imagine that being a dark lord and they're all sending you good vibes and hugs and you're like, I don't understand what to do with these good vibes. Do I eat them? Do I destroy them? What happens with these? What do they do? Do I collect them like Pokemon cards? I don't understand. 
And then you just confuse him, and then you can lock him back in his dark dimension. That's what we're going to do. That's our plan. I remember one time a car hit a school bus when it was high school. The bus was barely damaged, but the car was missing its bumper, and we were forced to sit and wait for police to come and make sure everyone was okay before continuing. Yeah, it took four hours. Yeah, that happened to us too. You know, it was ridiculous. But the good thing about the public transportation is they just had another bus pull up, and everyone was just like, hey, is everyone all right? Yeah, okay, get on the other bus. Yeah, but this was like years ago, so they didn't we care about individuals. Oh, all mad here. Roots and moons. Here's to many, many more. Love you, pumpkin guy. Ten moons. Thank you. Luna Silverclaw. Watch out. Thank you. We got to do things. Remember to uh, discuss stream stuff later, but not now. Hmm. Uh, one bit ain't going to show up. My fiance just came home, work early for the foot. I missed all that. Son of a... If you would like to hear good news, my four-way arcade joystick arrives tomorrow. It will allow me to play a game like Pac-Man and Dig Dug properly. Oh, I can see that being very unuseful, actually. I was just hit by a haul three weeks ago in my semi. That sucks. Well, you're here, so you, uh, hopefully, hopefully you're all right. Thank you. And I missed the thing. What? Francis has got home for work early for the first time in ever, and he can watch you. Heart of the forest. He always misses your streams because of 12-hour shifts on Sunday. Oh, my God. 12-hour shifts? What? And he can't really watch at work because work is the entrance of car. Oh, God. Well, Heart of the Forest is fiance. Welcome. Enjoy. Take it easy. Wow. You need more pills side effect shirts. Was going to order one, but it was sold out frown. Um, Designed by humans might have them. Did we put them up on designed by humans? If we didn't, we will. Um, There should be a varying sizes there. I hope we so. We are all mad here. Everywhere. One moon. Thank you. Why do they ask to accept or decline? What? All right. No, I'm half left. Abertrax? <laughs> God. Oh, thank you. I typically give 69 bits, so randomly people get one. All right, there you go. I hope I answered your... No, that's somebody else. School bus. A uh, minivan wrapped around the front of the bus. We were turning. They were going 60. No lie. No paint lost from bumper until they used the jaws of life to get minivan off the bus. Wow. That's scary. Well, you got into one one car accident with Don, and that was the other driver's fault. Right? Because they, you know, they, they were driving like 70 miles an hour because they knew the light was going to change based on the, the, the crossroad... Um, traffic slowing down but they didn't realize you get to make the turn first and so they clipped the front of the car yeah and then they they they, they were going so fast they like left skid marks for like 50 yards it was like ridiculous yeah people people are stupid it was what like 10 years ago we're fine don't worry about it still have the same car though hmm Where's the ducky queen? I don't know where Evie is. I'm not Evie's keeper. Good vibes to Evie. Uh -uh. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. I knew you can't clicky pumpkin guy, but there's a national record store day list of releases. Technically, I can clicky. I just can't look at it. Like, put it on the screen. Can we, can we get to that? Hold on. Because I want to look at it. I want to look at it. Tell me. National Record Store Day. Hold on. Record Store Day. Hold on. I'm going through the list right now. Yeah, because we need ACDC. What? AWOL Nation. Alarm. Tim Armstrong. Oh. Uh, I can't. Mad. I can't read okay. that. Wrangler. Thank you. Wrangler. Record Store Day. B-52s. What the hell? Okay. I, I, apparently, I didn't miss anything. Jeff Beck. Belly. Really? Belly? What year is this? Uh, okay. Whoa, no, there's like nine pages. I ain't going through that now. Um, oh, God, I got an alt-tab now. Help me. Help my face. Hold on. Ah, there we go. And, okay. No, I'll go through the list later, but um, I, what? I don't, need, I don't need vinyl singles of songs I've heard from like 77, you know? 
Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Wrangler, thank you. Um, trying to get enough ad bits uh, to send a thing to it and won't let me watch more ads. Oh, song, don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Mm, it's all terrible. It's all terrible. Worst accident I've been to a guy, what do you know, the tent hunt? Oh, tent hunt service truck. Oh, my God. Uh, no, Sa- Sailor Moon, that's <laughs> Sailor Moon Panda. That's not normal. You're not normal. <laughs> Who plays what? Get out of here. Um, help me. What buttons do I push to alt tab? There you go. Welcome back, you wow. crazy individual. Digging. Have a cookie. Ship it out. Cookies. Four moons plus some 15 or so years of watching since finding the old press at the end of grade school. At least it was at the end, so you probably get into too much trouble. <laughs> Thank you. Have some bits because I am eating bacon. And bacon is good. Oh, bacon. We don't have any bacon, so. Ah. Hold on, I missed the thing. I want to read. I paid nine dollars for ceramic skull. Now I believe. Uh, repost that the ceramic skull thing. I want to read that. All right, sorry I haven't been on, dude. Russia, do we got to do? Uh, the last serious uh, crash I saw happen on the highway. A lady with with schizoaffective disorder had a, a total breakdown, flying at 120 miles per hour, going west in the eastbound lane. Oh my god! Uh, she. Why can't I read the rest of that? Why is this cut off? Why is it cut off over here? Oh, alt tab. No, the other alt tab. My God, I'm quitting. I'm gonna give give up my professional streaming life. Ugh. Creamy, creamy, creamy cheese. I like that. Thank you. Um, but the lay what never had a chance. Highway was shut down for four hours while they did clean up. Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, I paid nine dollars for Ramex Skull Ring. I now believe to be cursed. It's only had it a week, and so far I completely froze. Uh. Out of anxiety for half a day, I was what informed that I might get withdrawals from my art school. What? And I twisted my leg. What? Uh, last one is worse because I walk for a half hour to classes. Uh, as the grounds to suspect a cursed item. Hmm. Hmm. That if I do, when I find I so do good vibes counteract curse them. Uh, do good vibes counteract cursed items? Um. Maybe. I don't know. It kind of depends on the item. I don't know. I don't think it's cursed. You're fine. No, not a lot of stuff sticks to supernatural stuff. Usually sticks to like, um, I want to say metal and running water. Ceramic really isn't a, uh, you know, cursed friendly adhesive, you know, maybe clay. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it. You know what? Put it in a metal box. It's a way the spookiness doesn't get out or under glass, right? It doesn't have the, uh, Oh, God, who does the Warrens do? They put everything under glass in the spooky paranormal thing. Or is that? I forget the, I forget his name. Yeah. That's what they did with the Annabelle doll. They put it under glass to keep the spooky vibes away. The mouse is showing in chat. Is it? Is it bothering you? Is it triggering you? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, look at the mouse. Oh, ew, oh, oh. It's poking at you. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. <sighs> yeah, quality professional stream. That's what we're all about right here. Quality professional stream. Look at all the snazzy graphics. We even have chat on screen. Yeah, it's amazing. I know, this is like remedial streaming class. <laughs> oh, God. At least the gnats are minimal today. Famous last words. Hmm. We're needing positive dog vibes. I don't think we have specific dog vibes. I think we just have a generalized good vibe. Um, I have a story that was good enough uh, to make uh, tear up. What? No. I don't, I don't want sad stories. Got enough sad stories. And I'll pronounce you Pumpkin Guy and Pauline. You be both, both eat candy corns. Am I con- con- contractually obligated to now? God, the stress, the pressures. Uh, anyway, um, can good vibes help fight against a Ouija board? I don't know. Surprisingly, I haven't used one. 
We have a box of mints that's shaped like a Ouija board, but um, I don't think you can use the mints as a, what do they call them? I don't want to say penchant. Pen blah, blah, pen blah, 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 blah. Oh, God, the term just fell out of my face. Um, the Warrens are from our state. Yeah, Connecticut, right? Isn't it Connecticut? Repost. I wish I had a read the full page. Pumpkin Guy. Uh, there were 422 releases for 2018 record store day. They only said it at the bottom of the page. Oh, that's that's fine. I'm not going through 422 releases. You know what? Um, uh, no, no, 422. 400. No, I don't need 422 records. We already got like 3,000 CDs. I got to add vinyl to the collection to kill myself. Uh, let's see, and <laughs> witches unite. Foamy could cast a spell on Jermaine for what? For what? An anti derp spell? Oh, I curse you with the ability to go outside and socialize. No, oh, no, no, the curse of socialization. Yeah, that is that is kind of a curse. Um, we read you boards can't really do anything. We means yes in French, and ja means yes in German. So basically, it's a yes-yes board. I know, but you know what? There's that thing where the energies of the individual using it is supposed to make its power either real or not. So I think the more faith you have in something, I think mentally you manifest the ramifications that might come with playing with a Ouija board. It's all about personal things. Like if somebody says, oh, you're cursed, but... uh you don't feel cursed, then, ooh, ow, hey, there you go, it's a little cassette shirt, and you know, some people are like songs, some you just have to skip, there you go, thank you, and why am I getting an alert now, hold on, my computer is apparently yelling at me for some reason, oh god, Sundays, Sundays, thanks Sunday, It would be really nice if I could just get everything to work. Why does it, every Sunday, everything's got to be like, oh, did you update this? Did you do that? Did you do this? Hey, did you see this alert? There's an alert over there. Hey, oh, I know you're streaming, but this is very important. Um, Mini me died. Yeah, we knew about that. I don't need an alert popping up in the lower hand corner of my computer telling me that mini me died. I know he's dead. It's sad. We talked about it. Where were you alerts? There's one. Planchette. Planchette. Yes. Thank you. Why did I call it a penchant? I was close. I was close. Close with my words. You know? What the hell's a penchant then? Isn't that like an affinity for? I have a penchant for slapping people in the face? I don't know. You should hear the story about the Mountain Grove Cemetery. Mm, potato chips. Potato chips. A less independent, what, independent shutdown, so that's one reason I don't do Record Store Day uh, much. Oh, there you go. Yeah, when your Record Store uh, locally shuts down, Record Store Day doesn't mean a lot to you because you can't go to it. Last Record Store Day I went to, there was just a bunch of performers being Welcome annoying. Because the oh, you know? so nice, they weren't good. Like being smashed in the face with a pillow. Famicom. I'm chewing glass. Four moons, four moons. Saw oh, yeah, bagels. Me cock hell off, misses one love. That was just a hodgepodge of what the beep. <sighs> Thank you. Those are nice emotes. Got some nice emotes there. Thank you. I want emotes that look that cute. Those are really well done. Mm. Should we lower all the flags to quarter height for mini me? That's actually clever. That is pretty clever. That is actually a little insensitive, but clever. So I think the cleverness trumps the insensitivity aspect of it. Hmm. Technically, you're right about the individual controlling planchette, but it is subconscious automatic control based on what you want to see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? So if you're like, are there fill in the blanks, you know, you'd be like, oh, yeah, there is. You know, whatever. You know what you do is just say, if it, you want to see if it really works, nobody touch it. Nobody touch the uh, planchette and just let it sit there. And if it moves on your on its own, then, yeah, they work. No, because if you're relying on people to do it, there's always that one person. <laughs> I'm going to have it spell out the name of somebody in this room. And, you know, it's like, come on. 
Good morning, you two just eating my cold pizza for breakfast. Cold pizza! Dude, I haven't had cold pizza in so long. I love cold pizza. It is so good. I know she likes it ice cold, but no, personally, if it's if it's a good pizza, you know it's a good pizza after you've had it the next day when it's actually cold. If I have the option, I'll eat it warm, of course. But, you know, cold pizza is pretty, it's kind of a treat sometimes. Mmm, lucky. Thank you. Cleverly insensitive. Positive vibes to all. Sailor Moon, thank you. No, 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 no. It's like, um, I always think a joke is like, there are a lot of jokes and humor out there that is technically insensitive, but as long as they're clever and the intellectualism of the joke actually outweighs the insensitivity, I, I say it's up for grabs, you know? Now, the important thing is as long as it's smart, but not in a cruel way, you know, it's, it's a touchy subject with everybody. Dude, glad you liked those emotes. The Sylveon one was made by a friend of mine for their channel, and I am not sure who made the Vulpix one. I don't know, man, but I, I'm totally... I, I would love to just hit them up for a bunch of awesome emotes because they are so good. Like, I, I you know, you see a lot of emotes on there, but um, I know, repost them if you can. The emotes. da na 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 Repost. Curse of Socialization exists in Ireland called the Gift of Gab. Send your man to Kiss the Blarney Stone. And a Blarney Castle. Now, I am not kissing a rock that everybody else on the planet has kissed. I don't care how much alcohol you put on it. That is literally the germs from four corners of the globe sitting on one rock. The CDC should just quarantine that thing. Thank you. Oh, my God. Do not censor comedy. It's a sign of fascism taking over. Yeah, well, it's already here. It's already here. Seriously, ask the comedians that get, that get throw, stuff thrown at them because they might have offended somebody. You know? And not like in a drastic sort of way. I'm just saying like, uh, you know. Talking about vinyl records, I found a bunch of vintage records in the attic of my new house when we moved in. Oh, hidden records. Awesome. No, that's cool. I hope there's some good stuff in there. Because you know, old records now would probably be uh, hippie era, I guess. Right? Like you'd find a vintage Zeppelin. Who, who wouldn't love that? Hmm. Either everything is funny or nothing is. Yeah, pretty much. That's scary when you think about it, when people start attacking comedians, you know, then it's like, uh, and this is general society. It's not even like the police rushing in to say, what you're saying is wrong. These are average people that should be thinking for themselves. And they're like, you're wrong. These jokes are offensive. I'm like, what the, get the hell out of here. What the hell are you doing? What are you, you're here at a comedy club in the middle of the night. You know, you want to be, you know, entertained. And if I'm not entertaining, get the hell out of here. You know, comedians should be like television stations, you know? If someone's not amusing you, then get the hell out. But I paid for this. I will give you your $10 back if you get the hell out of here. Flat out. I'll just throw money at him. Get the fuck out of here. I had to swear because it, it's personal. Ugh. I apologize for the swearing. I try to be really good. I try to be good because that's so aggravating. Oh, my God. Ugh. Weird thing I've had recently, hot and cold, and uh, consider different flavors to the brain. So cold foods can be preferred to hot foods. I love cold foods. I really do. I love cold foods. Though, I do enjoy warm foods. So what does that make me? I'm, I'm a culinarily bipolar. Look up Steve Hofstetter. He's hilarious and doesn't give two craps about people's sensitivity or opinions. And calls them out for being little baby uh, butt hurt. I know, right? People getting all butt hurt about humor. Yet, yeah, and I, I gotta say, I gotta say, there is this irony about everybody wanting to be able to express themselves without people getting on them, yet they turn around and get on everybody that has a difference of opinion or perspective. It's so weird. The irony is vomit-inducing. Uh, eh. It has crossed the line already, unfortunately. A YouTube called Count Dankula uh was arrested for teaching his dog to really you're gonna teach a dog to do a salute like that was they in was he in germany because that crap does not fly in germany trust me Brant. my car call off misses one love as for some emotes i will talk with my friend and see if she is doing emote yes. commissions i love me because aren't we post yes no because I, I love those lead months like I'm, I'm like they caught my attention because they are done very well. They are done very well. And I, that's actually something I would be like, you know what, dude, if I'm going to commission, there you go. Because I've seen a lot a lot of emotes on um, Twitch, like, 
you know, some of them are simple, but this has got like, there's like excellent shading and everything. Excellent work. Next time you talk to them, just say, I was thoroughly impressed and I hate everything. No, no, not that I hate everything they did. No, I'm saying I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed when I usually hate everything. Oh God. <laughs> no, I got I gotta, good work. You're awesome. Yeah. Anyway, where did I leave off? My internet keeps freezing. Expletive, expletive, expletive. Um, well, thank God it's not us. Huh. If you find a joke offensive, don't laugh and move on. I know, right? Yeah. I found Dio, a holy diver, kiss Eric Clapton, and Cars Journey, uh, and Ozzy Osbourne. Really? Wow, that is a good find. Woo. Clapton. I have a kind of love-hate thing with Clapton for some reason. Don't ask me why. Uh, but Dio, holy diver. I like MacGyver. I like to change the words every once in a while. Um, I think that's prevalent on both sides of the fence. I can't stand the hypocrisy in society. You know what? If I, Why can't it just be like, if, if I don't like it, I leave? You know how much stuff I don't watch because I don't like it? Isn't 50% of comedy insulting? It's why we laugh. It's a protective reflex. Hmm. There you go. Count Dankula was in Scotland. To add insult to injury, he's being sentenced on England's St. George's Day. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah. No, they're, they're a little bit more touchy over there. You know, if you did that in America, you probably would have been fine. It wouldn't even have registered, you know. Mm. Comedy insulting. It's why we laugh. No, it's a protective reflex. I don't know. I just wish comedy could be funny again. No, because comedy being, duh, oh, look, I made, I made a poop joke. That's That went out with vaudeville, and even vaudeville was more clever than that, okay? I've, I've, done, I've done research. Thanks. Stop pretending to be offended. Oh, yeah, there's those people who pretend to be offended. Like, if there's an off-color joke, and they're like, oh, I'm so offended. They're laughing on the inside. You're saying you're offended because you don't want to laugh because you think other people will get offended and think you're insensitive because you're laughing. So you're now, what? society induced reaction is now to pretend that you're offended. Oh, I can't believe they said that. You know, they go home and rewatch like old Andrew Dice clay bits <laughs> uh, or Eddie Murphy's raw, you know, the classics. Uh, anyway, Evie is here. Oh, okay. I noticed from the uh, sea of ducks. I am now swimming in. Hi, Evie. How are you? Are you doing well? I can't see you past all the ducks. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There you go. Dun, 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 dun. NRA members are easily triggered. <laughs> uh, see, I laugh at that, even though I shouldn't. Ha ha. Uh, I do not pretend. I laugh my I laugh my butt off. Yeah. I, I want better emotes now. No, man. I, I feel like our emotes aren't as effective when I saw the other ones. Oh, God. Reworked everyone. If I don't laugh at jokes either, I don't find it funny or I didn't get the punchline. There you go. I was like, oh, that's not funny. What show was Dawn watching? Uh, what was it? Big Mouth or something like that? It's a Netflix series. Um, and we sat in, we we watched like 15 minutes of an episode and we're like, this, this isn't funny to me. People find it hilarious. I'm like, no. Like not even a chuckle. Some people get offended by a fart. I swear some people and the concept of getting offended is redonk and I don't understand and your emotes are just fine. I want better ones. I want better emotes. 40 years ago the album Up in Smoke was released. It was re-released on April 20th. Oh, dude. <laughs> Up in Smoke was re-released on 420. Oh, come on. If you are offended by me, good. Ha 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 ha. Now go crawl under a rock. Yeah, you wish it was that easy, right? Where it's like, oh, you're offended? Well, good. But no, they bring other people to yell at you. I have to go. I hung out for as long as I could. See you next week. Have some bits. Nautical Be Razor, kind. thank Rewind. you for... Stay awesome. I'm, I'm interrupting. I'm sorry. Um, Nautical Razor, thanks for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day, week, and life. For future ordering reference, which site do you get more of the cut from Melville Press? Com or DBH? It, it will press. It will press literally because we actually ship those out ourselves and we've manufactured them ourselves. So the cost of making them was a little bit less. What DBH is their royalty rate is like a little bit, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever's easier for you, frankly. You know, you can use a credit card on either side, so it's fine. 
No, man, because if there's something on uh, the DBH shop that they want, I don't want to be like, buy it from us. We get like an extra 50 cents. It's like, whatever. Get it where you like. That's all. Thank you for actually even being considerate enough to even ask that. Most people are like, whatever. I'll get this bootleg foamy shirt from China on Amazon. <laughs> God. Ugh. Thank you. Duckman comedy rant. There was a Duckman comedy rant? I've only seen like a handful of Duckmans. I'm not a fan of fart jokes, but it's more of overused uh, than the joke itself. Yeah, there you go. The whole the whole fart joke thing. I think it's just it's become stale. Yes, it's a. And I'm what? sure somebody said Even this before. Individual. Last month of Amazon money for a while frown. That's all right. At least at least it's here. Thank you. <laughs> fart jokes to humor our life jump scares to horror. Yeah, pretty much. Only, you know, uh, horror, there's a possibility of dying afterwards. Uh, fart jokes just kind of leave a stench. OMG, you never saw the Duckman comedy rant? Bro, Nani. Nope. Dude, I've, I, what have you been doing for the last two, two decades again? Oh, oh, working, what, 14 to 18 hour days on all things foamy? Really? That, that left you a lot of time to, like, watch things, right? Oh, yeah, I know. You could squeeze it in between sleep and using the bathroom. No, we haven't. Now we got to put it on the list of everything else we didn't see. Don't forget, Pauline gets a 5% royalty for all Pauline-related merchandise. Royalties for the goth queen. She's just going to spend them on ice cubes, you know? She's got this thing about ice cubes. She loves ice cubes. She's like, oh, it's so cold in my belly. I know what it is. She's frigid to the touch. I'm telling you. No, man, it's literally like like if you try to, like, you know, when you... Uh, and, and we're doing this as friends here, so give me a second. Combat veteran here. I find plenty of things funny that others do not. And offending us is not easy, but if you do. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. If you, well, dude, you know, come on. Any, any any combat veteran has seen enough crap to actually have a healthy sense of humor. It's like, you know what? I've seen some real crap, okay? This joke is not offensive. I'll tell you what is offensive, okay? And then you have like a portfolio of all the bad stuff that's happened to you in a war zone. And you're like, this is offensive. Okay. This is bad. Okay. Your, your little off color joke about, you know, fill in a blank. That's nothing. Jim, I got my t-shirt and my stickers. They're awesome. Hey, awesome stickers. Sassy Grizz. How's it going? Sassy Grizz. You doing all right? What were we talking about? Ice cubes? I forget. So if we let her hold a cup of water, would it freeze? It is a possibility. It is a possibility because, uh, like I said, and I do this as a friend, when she gets like a little crook in her neck for like, you know, sleeping on that weird couch that we have, the iridescent couch, which I don't even know where we got, um, you know, I try to help massage it out. And it is like, literally, I got to put on like mittens because she's just very icy, you know? I don't know. Well, maybe the lore will tell us why one day if you ever get started on that. Mm. The duckies. Evie, how are you doing? Hey, I'm struggling. Why are you struggling? Finally had a restful night of sleep last night. I have not been sleeping since. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Good vibes to Evie. Evie needs good vibes. Not a grandpa passed away. Evie, grandpa. Morning, guys. How has your week been? Was 420 eventful for you? Um, No, because I completely forgot about it. And I also com completely forgot about Record Store Day. So I missed two important days out of the year because we got distracted because Dawn came home from Florida. Way to go. The Pauline lore throws money. Yeah, I know. We're working on it. We we have, we it's it's in our head. If you're a creative person, Pumpkin, you know. Spice, latte. Wow, real money. For all. That's amazing. Artificially flavored. Repost for Evie Demon. For those who don't know, I have not been uh all right. My popo, grandfather, passed away on Tuesday, so a lot of drama has been going on with his wife's family versus our family. I haven't been sleeping properly, last night was the first time. Why should it be drama? I mean, it should just be arrangements, not drama. Why is everybody fighting? You know? That's weird that, that it's called popo. Because, you know, like, you don't want to mention Popo, like, around 420, because that gets uh, a, little, a little weird. No, because you say most, most, to most people, yo, the Popo's dead, and you're like, yes, it's 
smoke them if you got them. You know that kind of thing. Um, no, I'm sorry, man. That is that is sad. I I am sorry. I'm sorry. No, because when your grandfather passed, that was sad for you too. It's it's family. Girl stuff. Scout cookies. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? No, I did research. Apparently, there there isn't even a pleated skirt in those cookies. They're just made from ingredients that pe you would get in a bake shop somewhere. I'm I'm very disappointed. You know, at least throw me like you know uh, a, a bit of a pleated skirt, maybe part of a badge or something to give me that authentic Girl Scout taste. You know, I just find it wrong. I find it wrong and misleading as advertising goes. <sighs> Another disappointment. You know, every every Sunday just seems to be a long list of disappointments. Um, and I lost my train of thought because we were talking about the popo and uh, the Girl Scout cookies that aren't Girl Scouts. Um, anyway, where do we go? Mm. Sits on the roof smoking and watching the cops drive by and waves at them. Oh, no, that's a... God, the interruptions! Yeah, I am helping a friend build a new world for a D&D &D world with magic system and lore. He is not that good at story building, so he is talking to me to help him. And you're ignoring them by donating here. You're like, yeah, yeah, no, we'll work on a story. Hold on, I got to donate the pumpkin guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm working with this guy who just has no idea how to write. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> that's how I pictured it. I know you're probably not that cruel and cynical, but that's how I pictured it. Like, oh, yeah, no, help me with this world. Yeah, hold on. Just let me tell me every, every everybody that you don't know how to write well. Oh, I was just, yeah, no, of course, I got to help him because he just doesn't know what he's doing. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just messing with the both of you. Don't worry about it. Uh, thank you. And, oh, no, no, no. The the, the uh, decriminalization of marijuana was supposed to be up for a debate. Wildfire. I've got my mini me here watching you with me, and he loves you. Hey. Mini me, what? Thanks for a follow. <laughs> um, because they keep trying to push our family, blood family, out of the picture. Why? Why are they trying to push you out of the picture? What is going on? What picture? In a buyery, go get food with my friends. I'll see you later, pumpkin guy. You're awesome as always. Later. Enjoy your food. Get something super delicious that is just gonna be like, oh my god, you're the best thing ever. That's what you gotta do. Next time you go to a place and you're like, all right, what would you recommend? Or like, what do you want to order? And just be like, give me something that is the best thing ever. I want the best thing ever. There you go. If they don't have a menu item that says best thing ever, then I'm not eating there. I'm sorry. That's it. Yeah. How confident are they in their menu that they just can't blindly give you a meal and call it the best thing ever? Then they're not very good cooks, are they? No, they, they're, they're fault. They have to describe what the food is. Could be a hamburger with a side of fries. Well, is it the best thing ever? Well, no, it's a hamburger with a side of fries. Well, then I don't want it. Just send it back. Get me the best thing ever. Don't even describe it to me. Just have the confidence. You know what we need? A pills e hoodie. I love hoodies. I want a hoodie. Designed by humans. There's probably a gallon of them out there. Various designs. You are crazy, man, and I love this is why I make sure to have plenty of bits to fling at your awesome self. Das Bits! Thank you. I'm not crazy. Just a little abnormal. Apparently medicinal might be legal soon in SC, which is awesome because we live right on the border. See, now that's what they got. I... <sighs> Sorry for interrupting you. Yeah. I found out that Americans throw away 40% of their food and on average spend $150-ish per week. This translates to $1 trillion thrown away each year. Pretty much. Way to go, Ameri Mer Americans, wasting your food. Um, we don't do that. Dawn is, I got to tell you, Dawn is very like, we are not wasting this food. She will make, she will have chicken for 15 days in a row just to make sure that it's all eaten and we don't throw anything out. Seriously, it's like the bones. It's just like they're scraped clean. And then she's like, should we throw these bones out or make like little skeletons? It's ridiculous. Now, even I have limits. Come on. There you go. Um, no, 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 because they're talking about, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm hoping that marijuana is fully legalized. I just, I don't even care if it's fully, quote unquote, legalized. I just want it to be decriminalized because I think a lot of people who are like, you know, getting thrown in jail for just having like a little bit of like drugs on them or whatever, the, well, legal-ish, you know, marijuana stuff. Um, 
that you're messing up somebody's entire life just because they wanted to chill, you know? And keep in mind, this is coming from somebody who is, I am, I am not a pot guy. I'm not a marijuana guy. I don't use it. I don't even know where to get it in my neighborhood. Um, and it's just like, dude, leave these people alone. Worry about the alcohol and the cigarettes. That's what's doing a real harm out there. You know, how many stories have you heard about people, you know, drunk driving or under the influence and crashing, wrapping their car around a freaking telephone pole and killing like a family of 12? Oh, because they, they smoked, you know, oh, they smoked. No, 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 they were probably under the influence of the alcohol, not the marijuana. Just saying. Anyway, eh, duckies for Evie. Evie. Eh, 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 eh. I am the garbage disposal. That's why my doctor says I'm fat. Um, eh. Oh, I know. I get better food. Um, I know, okay, because good food is so cheap nowadays. My God. Head of broccoli is like $6. Eh. Uh, the only downside of it being legalized is it stinks. Yeah, I do not like the smell of it. But I guess if you're high, you don't really care. You're just like, whatever. No, I know. It's whatever, man. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Well, you know, I'll do laundry on Tuesday or something. Goodbye, guys, and good vibes. I'm off to the park with my cat. Gonna have some fun. You take your cat to the park? That is cool. Thanks for the follow. Really? They take... Wow. It's good. You get a little cat leash. Meow. I know. I think, you know, here's the thing. Because we tried that once with the, with uh, your old cat. And, you, you know, you put the little thing on them and everything. And what do they what do? They do? It just fell to the floor and was confused. It just... Or it walks really close to the ground. Because it's like, why is this harness on me? I don't understand. Oh. And then it'll fall over. It's ridiculous. You know, you, you got to do you got to do that. I know there's lag. It's not me. Twitch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. All right, everybody take a coffee break. Apparently, we're lagging the hell out right now. Take a coffee break. Coffee break. Be right back. It's about time anyway. I've been on for an hour and a half. Take a break. Let lag clear up itself. Lag break. Lag break. All right, here's the thing. We got to ask this question because Dawn was asking. I took a break. Dawn was like, hey, ask him about this. Mint jelly. What is the point of mint jelly? What do you use it for? Why does it exist? I know it's stupid. You're like, what? Mint jelly? Just No, there is jelly and it's mint. I'm not a big fan of mint. Not a big fan, okay? Um, unless it's covered in chocolate. A lot of chocolate. Like Andy's Candies or York Peppermint Patties. I don't like mint in this, that, or the other thing. So. I tried to say this earlier, but lag. I was more shocked by people spending $150 per week on food. I feel bad for spending $120 per month. Well, it depends on where you live. Food is freaking expensive. Thank you. I just heard the greatest thing ever a 16-bit SNES cover remix of Holy Diver by Dio and it was amazing it used the basic SNES sound fonts but it so worked. Welcome back you crazy individual. I'm taking your word for that. So, Fader hat. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. 33 moons. 30 tray. That is a lot of moons and I appreciate every one of them. Every minute. I appreciate every minute. Mint jelly. All right. It goes with lamb. No, 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 no. Tzatziki sauce goes with lamb. Mint sauce. No, mint jelly is for savory meats like lamb. And I don't eat lamb, so... I just, you know. Mint jelly is normally used for lamb. And what else? Goes with mint spaghetti. All right, that's, that's clever, actually. Um, lamb? Why would you want minty meats? Who wants a minty meat? You know, the whole point of having mints after a meal is to get that taste out of your mouth, you know? It goes on lamb or other meat. Jelly or jam. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're English. It's different over there. Jam, jelly, it's whatever. Mint sauce is goes well with lamb joint. Traditional Sunday dinner sauce. Really? Minty meat. 
would think it would be good on heavily flavored breads and pastries. No, no, I can't understand it. I, it does. My mind cannot wrap around mint jelly or jam, whatever you want to call it. Like when I have jelly or jam, um, like peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and jam. Um, God, now I got to say jelly and jam all the time. Just ja jamly. Okay. Jamly, jamly. Um, I, thanks for the follow. I can't imagine having minty peanut butter and jelly jam. And if I ever eat meat, I can't imagine. Thanks for, thanks for the follow. Um, I can't imagine having minty meat. It just seems so weird. You know, because like I said, it's like you, you have, I had again. What? Don't believe me, then I will link in the Discord and says that Siki sauce and mint jelly can be used on lamb and why not minty meats are the wave of the future. No, no, no. Minty meats are not the wave of the future because it, it is like eating gamey toothpaste, okay? It is like literally I am eating a burger covered in toothpaste. Okay, that that's what it that's what mint means to me. It means fresh breath covered in chocolate or toothpaste. It's used like pepper jelly. What what the hell is pepper jelly? There's pepper jelly? See, we don't get out a lot, okay? So when we see mint jelly, this is like a revelation for us, okay? Um and what the hell is pepper jelly? I that's like having spicy jello. Who wants that? Peppermint jelly or regular mint jelly? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's peppermint or mint. I don't know. Is it toothpaste? I've never had it, so I don't know. Is it more like toothpaste or just like a hint of mint? I don't understand. It. It's green and it looks like ectoplasmic residue from Ghostbusters. I don't know. What is it? It's like a jar of boogers that's minty fresh. What is it? What is it? I'm not going to spend $5 on a jar of mint jelly if I don't know what the hell it is. Mint sauce is mint in a liquid. Here is what I found. Ah, mint found jelly something. was originally used on muttons, Mutton. older sheep, and not on lambs. Serving mint jelly with lamb or is an old custom with the objective to disguise the strong flavor of mutton used during the old days. Yeah, I know, but we have seasonings now, so... Thanks for the follow. I don't think we need to be dousing our mutton with uh, toothpaste. I mean, it's just, it's so weird. I don't know what mutton even tastes like. Minos, the lamb maker. <laughs> oh, God. Spearmint, not peppermint. Ugh. Why on earth are we talking about jelly and it's a hint home end? Oh, it's a hint of mint. So it's not like literally like I'm, I'm, you know, using toothpaste as an icing on my mint, uh, my minty meats or whatever. It seems so weird. I just don't know. Uh, it's a hint. It's a hint. Then wouldn't you just get like a mint leaf and just throw it on there? You know, like parsley or something? It confuses me. Hmm. No, it just popped in my head because we saw it at the uh, grocery store the other day, and I was just like, what the hell is this? Because we got an organic jelly. We got ourselves an organic jelly. Strawberry, of course, not mint, because I don't know what that is. We have to spend almost $300 every two weeks because my BF goes through so much food because he burns over 9,000 calories a day pushing carts at Walmart. Wow, he's burning what we're eating. Good for him. It's regular mint jelly. It's a sweeter kind of mint. Like York peppermint patty mint? Why should you? Seriously, everyone's wasting all their money on, on telling me this. I should just use that money, buy some mint and mint jelly and see what it do. You know? Because uh, it's so confusing to me. I may like it. I may actually like it. No, probably not. I just, no, I, I, like, I like mint to be covered in chocolate, you know? And a hint of mint is like, no, I don't. No, weird. So weird. I want pizza. Um, jalapeno mint jelly. Oh, my God. What? Who wants spicy jelly with mint? Mint spice? Pepper jelly goes on honey baked ham. Not in my house. No, for that, you use pepper. You use pepper. 
Pepper jelly? No, then for that, you put a little bit of pineapple and pepper on it. I know, somebody's just going to puke right now. Pineapple on ham? Now, people like pineapple pizza. I don't know what's going on with the world. I don't know what's going on with the world. I've never had pineapple pizza. I should try it. Where can I get a slice? No, not. I'm not asking you guys. Don't send me bit recommendations on where to get pineapple pizza. I just, I was like thinking out loud. Where can I get pineapple pizza right now? I just want to try a slice to see what the big deal is. Everyone's like, pineapple pizza, oh my God. People, see, right now we're going to get vomitously, blah, 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 blah. no, it's the best thing ever. You know, it's, got, eh. it's a high contrast opinionated food. Most of those jellies are from outside of America. Yeah, clearly, because as, as warped as our taste star in certain things, we're not like making that ourselves. But then again, you know, that stuff has been around for like hundreds of years. So it's like somebody must like it, you know? So weird. Different cultures have such different tastes, you know? That's why I like the fact that we have Mexico so close because I'm, I really love their food. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm glad we're not connected to a, a, a mutton country. <laughs> I had a jar of spicy strawberry jam once. Uh, it was so good. Really? Spicy strawberry? Oh, my God. Oh. People eat spicy things. I mean, Quinn, what do you expect? And please, I feel like I one of them fake curls. I don't mind spicy, but I don't like sweet spice. I mean, I kind of like a sweet spicy sauce, like a barbecue sauce. But mint doesn't seem to work. I'll take some hot pepper jelly. It's like a sort of spicy sweet flavor, but no mint. Mint sounds dot dot weird for some reason. Like you said toothpaste on food just no just, just no just no ah uh, i don't know and, and it's like if the meat is so i want to say gamey that you got to cover it in like colgate um you may want not to eat that you know find something else I, I don't know but who am i to judge you know people have different tastes so mm. Salty and sweet, you have to uh, try what? Uh, dry the pineapple out a little first. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there you go. I love dried pineapple. And I do like salty sweet. I love uh, chocolate-covered pretzels. Um, I like salted caramel, and I love that kind of stuff. But I think the mint has got such a distinct flavor that when you're, like, eating it, I think maybe in, maybe in America's, America's palates are, like, like I said, uh, peppermint patties, after-dinner mints, or toothpaste. Sometimes ice cream, but I don't like mint ice cream. It seems weird to me. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. My son is what I meant by mini me. And is it, oh, <laughs> your son is what you meant by mini me. Okay, there you go. Brandon, hello. Mm. Silver Claw. His biggest problem with burning the mini calories is he is underweight and can't seem to put on weight because his job is so taxing that he burns everything he eats. We have the exact opposite problem we can't burn anything we've eaten if anything it's like we look at food and we gain weight it's so weird maybe we should push carts around i don't know but you know what at least at least they're getting exercise unlike us yeah uh, hmm. skulls latte what's up wow great jelly debate you have this weird thing with animals my cat is just laying across from the laptop, purring away and relaxing while you're talking. Three. I don't understand that. Why do animals like us? Probably because I look like a chew toy. That's why. They're like, oh, look, it's a chew toy. I don't have to bat around myself. I'm, I'm like entertainment for lazy animals who just want to see their toys move around. You know, <laughs> it's like, oh, look, that's so great. Oh, God. Maybe that should be our thing. Next, If you make a plush, make a pumpkin guy chew toy. It'll be a little traumatic for me, but enjoyable for the pets. And isn't that what counts? Oh, God, just having my body being ripped apart by a bunch of tiny little chihuahuas. Yeah, that's what I need. Oh, I've had nightmares like that. I think so, too. My cats will stare at the screen and mew at you when you dance around. See, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm the uh, animated chew toy for animals. That's great. Uh, seriously, mint jelly, pineapple pizza, and spicy fruits are the worst thing compared to deep fried butter. Aren't the worst thing. Aren't the worst thing. Yeah, deep fried butter, that's a redundant, that's literally a redundant heart attack. They're like, you know what? I, my arteries aren't completely closed up. Let's deep fry this butter and have at it. 
And you know, goodbye, body. That's like what they do for assisted suicides. You know, it's like, oh, doc, I'm not feeling good anymore. I just don't know what to do. I don't want to live anymore. Have you tried deep fried butter? No. Well, I think that would work for you. Literally. Oh, what? There's a Tabasco jelly. There's a Tabasco jelly. Oh, my God. Isn't that just napalm? No, like the, the, the spicy jelly that's so hot, it like burns a hole in your stomach. No, nah, man, not cool. No, nah, it was it was demilitarized, I think, in the 60s, and then they just marketed it to people who have just weird palates. Dun, 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 dun. Spirit Packs is what? Uh, my puppy Sirius is barking at you, pumpkin guy. See? See, he's like, look, look, there's a chew toy right there. I want it. I want, I want the chew toy. Chew on the pumpkin. Ah. Mm. What would the taste and texture be? Ugh, no. Dear pumpkin guy, uh, what? Uh, does pumpkin guy, what? Give pupils of color to skin? Was this, well, I don't know. What are the, I can't read that. Oh, it's gone. Ah. It's chopped mint leaves in a vinegar type substance. Ooh, that's. I am oh, from the God. south, but deep fried butter makes me gag just thinking about it. I know, right? Butter is is like a, a kind of an accent thing that you put on stuff. You don't. That's not a main dish, okay? Butter should not be a main dish. That's like saying um, lard is the main dish. Deep fried lard. I'm sure it exists. Don't send me links. Deep fried Oreos. Uh, I don't trust that either. That that seems weird. Uh, were you able to see the Jermaine and Foamy fan art? Um. Okay, which one? If not, put a link. Rant. Rant. I'm situating. Now, Skulls Latte does artwork. They do streaming. Were you, were, you were streaming a game the other day, weren't you? It wasn't even art. Mendoza cookies and Coke. Enjoy it. It'll explode your stomachs. Oh, deep fried Snickers. What? Mentos cookies and Coke. No, I'm not doing that. What is with the hydrate bot? I will kill your face. By this point in your broadcast, you should have claimed eight ounces of water to maintain optimum hydration. Hey, guess what, hydrate bot? 64 ounces, all right? My eyeballs are floating right now, okay? Keep it up, and you're going get, to get a mouthful of uh, recycled water, all right? Dumb robot. I'll skulls latte. Hold on, let me click on that. Oh, God, I, I got to work for this. Hold on. I want to see it. I want to see it. Ugh. No, no, it keeps moving. Okay. It's loading. I can't show it on the screen because I'm not technically great. Oh, dude, that is awesome. Everybody click on it. Click on the link. Oh, I got to, I got to, God, am I not even signed in here? Oh, I wanted to retweet. <sighs> Come on, life. What are you doing to me? Now I'm distracted. What? All this jelly talk is making me one of them. And how does one deep fry butter? And I have had deep fried Oreos. They are amazingly delicious. They're amazingly. Amazingly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, dude, Skulls Latte, that's awesome. I got to retweet it. Retweet it later. Don't mess it up. You might not be a chew toy. You might be the pumpkin equivalent of a laser pointer. Well, just as long as they can't catch me, I'm fine with it. Deep fried water. Deep fried water. I'm sure somebody's trying right now, somewhere in the south. You know what? We could really deep fry this water. You know how all those those, those hipsters like water? Well, we can deep fry it. Say it's free-ranged water. I don't know. That accent just fell apart. Uh. Dun, dun, dun. I got my chair. This chair is terrible. It's not really a chair. What are you sitting on? It's like the uh, Sheldon stick chair. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Oh, my God. I know. At least it's somewhat comfortable. I have powdered water. What do I add to it? Um, chocolate. Uh, retweeted. Retweeted. Eh. Not. Uh, corpse, uh, corpse virus, come on. Eh. Someone clipped that. The reprocessed water. I'm recycling water into your mouth. 
What? Waste not, want not, right? Um, let's see. What do they miss? Uh, you need some jelly-filled donuts. Oh my God, jelly-filled donuts! Oh, jelly-filled donuts! I haven't had one of those in forever. They used to make these. Um, I don't even know if they still make them. The host hostess used to make these. They weren't great, but it was fun in a pinch. A little jelly-filled. Well, donut. they do have fried ice cream. They do have fried ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, if you ever get fried ice cream, get Mexican fried ice cream. Seriously, like, yeah, good. Can you link me to your peach art? Now, Skulls Latte does a lot of art, like a lot, a lot of good stuff too. So definitely follow them. They also do live streams and stuff like artwork like we used to, but apparently I get dragged out here all the time now. Remember when we used to do this? This used to be an art stream. It used to be an art stream. What happened? I don't know, just let Skulls Latte entertain everybody with the doodles. Um, hostess, you mean Snowball. No, it's Hostess. Not the Snowballs, the little Snowball coconut cover thing. No, it was, it was Hostess Cakes or, or Entenmann's. One of those freaking companies I don't buy anything from anymore. They used to make uh, jelly-filled donuts that were really good. No, like They had a hole in them and everything. They weren't like right ones. They weren't really good. They were just adequate and sometimes enjoyable. Mm. No note. Conklin! No note! No! Thank you. Let's see. I've made fried ice cream. Oh, there you go. Uno. Uno making the fried ice cream. Mm. Twinkies. What about Twinkies? I don't eat Twinkies anymore. Not since the great Freeze Twinkie fried shortage. ice cream. Freeze dried ice cream. That's... What? If you want more weird British sauces, try bread sauce. It goes great with chicken, or there's parsley sauce with ham. Here's the thing. I don't, for my palate, I don't believe in taking a bunch of seasonings and putting them in a gel. You know what I'm saying? For that, you just put the, you know, in a little bit of pepper, a little bit of parsley, you know, some oregano, you know? Come on. Jelly filled crimpets by Tasty Cake. What the hell is a crimpet? What is a crimpet? What the hell is a crimpet? What's a crimpet? Crumpet? Crimpet. I've never had those. Dude, I gotta tell you, we have not had junk food in quite some time. And I, I miss I miss junk food. I miss those like eclair donuts and stuff. It's awesome. Timmy jelly. Oh, that's what we should do with the jelly. Give it to Timmy. Hey, Timmy. You like jelly, don't you? And you love mint, don't you, Timmy? Keeps your breath fresh when we don't give you toothpaste. How about we make you a peanut butter and mint jelly sandwich? Sounds delightful, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I wouldn't even do that to Timmy. Here, Timmy, have a, have a peanut butter and mint jelly sandwich. And I'm, that's cruel. That's cruel. I mean, yeah, I know we lock him in a closet. We let him get scurvy. And, you know, we randomly erase his phone and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's just... You know, it's a fictional character. We don't really do that. Again, with that shampoo. Um, have you ever had astronaut ice cream? Dude, I am not going into space to get ice cream. God. I know, it comes in a little packets. Crimpet, a signature moist and fluffy sponge cake is accented with legendary tasty cake butterscotch icing or infused with a variety of delicious jellies. We don't have those here. Ugh. Crimpet, the second cousin of Krampus. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Oh, no, it's Crimpet. Oh, it's not Krampus? No, it's just Crimpet. Uh, they're a little shorter, they're tiny. Um, they don't really whip you with chains. They just kind of kick you in the shins every once in a while. You know, but, you know, they're wearing bunny slippers, so it's okay. Uh, well, at least it's not Krampus. Yeah. Timmy curry three times a day. Curry? No, we're not giving it. We're not. Timmy curry? Tim curry. Okay. Crimpets are a Twinkie-like sponge cake by Tasty Cake, and they come in two varieties, cream and jelly, and no, I did not misspell cram. 
Krem. 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 <laughs> I know some people spell it that way. That's just the way life works. I missed a Wonder Bread factory that used to be in Massachusetts when they moved their operation up to Maine. Uh, oh, the, oh, the mall expanded their parking when they left. Oh, great. That's what we need. More parking for more cars for a mall nobody wants to go to anymore. Ugh. Dun, 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 dun. In Amsterdam, they have fish carts everywhere selling herrings as a snack, like a burger or a hot dog. They did taste pretty good. All right, no, no, I can't do that. I can't have herring as a snack. Like, get your fresh herring here. What? No, I need hot dogs. I need hot dogs. It's the only food I will buy from a truck. Those and a cupcakes. And a lobster roll we got for Dawn. Lobster roll! Okay. Every while they... Crimp just crimps your hair. He doesn't whip you. Run the hair crimping. All right. Just runs up behind you and crimps your hair, and you're like, ah, no, I just had this done at the at the salon. Now it's ruined. My perm, permanently crimped. Ugh. I've forgotten like fifty percent of the things I wanted to say today. Yeah, join the club. I had uh, words I was gonna express, but they seem to have gone somewhere. We started talking about space ice cream. I don't, I don't know. Timmy should only eat Taco Bell. No, he would enjoy that. You got to give him food he doesn't like. Like, uh, hey, how about some herring? You know, uh, some sushi that has been sitting out for several days. Um, and a bunch of pocky that has been crushed. So you don't have the sticks with the chocolate on there. You just have a bunch of broken chocolate cracker dust. Oh, that's cruel. That is cruel. Busted up pocky. Oof. There's corn jelly. What the hell is corn jelly? Corn doesn't even really have a distinctive taste. Well, it kind of does. But it's not like a taste that warrants its own. That's why everybody puts butter on popcorn, because corn by itself, and popcorn is just, yeah, it's all right. No, you got to doctor it up with salt and a gallon of butter or oil, you know? But who wants who wants popcorn jelly? Hey, hey, would you pass the popcorn jelly? No, because it doesn't exist. Well, actually, it does. No, not in this house. Get out. Ugh. Popcorn jelly. Dun, 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 dun. What's happening? Skills Latte's going crazy? What's going on? Crazies? There's corn je- Oh, no. No, I was just talking about the corn jelly. Corn jelly? I want to know what that is now. Oh, God. There's so many jellies I am unaware of. Here's the thing. Skulls Latte, I am going to say from personal experience as a fellow doodler, um... Get out of the house every once in a while. Like, seriously, I don't, I don't know where your work schedule is, but, uh, you know, two decades being in a dark, dimly lit room, um, working on weird little cartoons for everybody. Uh, yeah, you miss things like mint jelly and corn jelly and uh, apparently crimpets. Crimpets? Crumpets. Crimpet, crumpet. How about some Swedish smelly herrings? Why would I want that? Why would I want to, Who wants a food that's got the word smelly in it? Hey, you want some smelly burgers? No, thanks. Gas station sushi found out in the sun after being run over by a septic tank truck. The official meal of Timmy. That's right. That's why he's uh so sickly looking. Um, Let's see. Thank you. Let's see. What, what did I miss? Uh, don't you hate when someone says, well, if it was important, you would have remembered it. Um, no, because it doesn't work if, like, you have Alzheimer's or something. Oh, if it was important, you would remember it. Uh, no, I actually have a mentally dis- de- debilitating disorder. So, uh, whatever your name is, don't be a jerk. Ugh. Not, like, flat out. God. No, because I've heard that before where they're like, well, if, if, if you can't remember, it can't be that important. Well, how do you know? Who are you to judge what's important and what's not? What if I had a, uh, you know scientifically accurate algorithm to create wormholes and now it's just gone you know way to go you had to interrupt me with uh you know mint jelly salty popcorn sweet popcorn um it depends actually i like sweet popcorn when it's kettle corn kettle corn is awesome when it's done right um and same thing with salty popcorn it's good when it's done right just as long as it's done right 
I love there was uh, Popcornopolis. They were a company. I, I'm sure they're still around. They made such good little pre bag popcorn. It's a little expensive. Uh, so we'd get it every once in a while, but it was so good. They had a little chocolate-covered stuff. It's good. Chocolate-covered popcorn is awesome. Hmm. You should draw to me. No, because then people are going to know what he looks like, and then there'll be search parties. You know? Have you seen this boy? <laughs> yeah, he's in my closet dying. If you have Alzheimer's disease, would you know that you have it? I'm sure somebody would let you know. Unless you're a shut-in and you never leave the house. So I finished getting my taxes done, and according to HR Block, due to the new tax law, if I make the same income as last year, I will get almost double the tax return back. Nice, sparkly, oh, sparkly barista raking in that income thing. Um, and yes, I guess going to a job, Skulls Latte, is considered a uh, venture outside. But we're we're kind of an all-inclusive, working for ourselves kind of thing, so that's why you put in the extra hours. Oh, I would love a regular day job now at this point. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, we got our taxes done, and it was so weird because something finally worked in our favor is because we got our taxes done, right? And because we have to do estimated taxes every quarter because we're business, um, we ended up overpaying only because we overpaid on our, what was it, the health care? Yeah, and apparently, according to the tax laws now, if you overpay on that, you're supposed to get like a little bit of kickback from the health care supplemental thing because technically we we're not affording health care properly. So they're like, oh, okay, you're poor. Here's some money. And I was like, yay, but that means technically on paper I'm not making money. So, But it's not like I get that money in hand. It's just got to get pushed towards the next quarter of taxes that are going to be due. Good. Government, give me a money. Give me a money. Like butter, lightly salted popcorn. Light butter. Light butter? There's no, nah, not like light butter, right? Like f almost fat-free butter, just lightly buttered. When you worked at the movie theater, how many people just wanted extra butter? Yeah, everybody. Nobody said lightly buttered. They're like more butter, more butter. And then you'd have to layer it so it was like popcorn, an inch of oil and butter popcorn an inch of oil and butter and kept going and going and going people loved it so much they were clenching their chest mm. da, da, da. thank you i missed the stream last week and almost forgot to mention that i was walking home from campus and there was a squirrel on a tree eating a whole bagel i wasn't sure how it carried it up the tree oh they got friends they got friends you know squirrels find something like that they all bring it up there together you know so they help each other out Estimated taxes are a pain in the butt. Good for you. Yeah, they are. Tell me about it. Sometimes people with Alzheimer's forget that they have Alzheimer's and they have to be reminded. Yeah, I can imagine that. It, dude, it's true. You know, what are you going to do? Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Save up all that refund monies. In eight years, the rules will change. No, they're changing this year, actually. Um, so next year when we do our taxes... Whatever monies we would have gotten back, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Because our accountant was just like, oh, well, this is going to be good for you this year, but not next year. Yeah, they're doing away with something. I'm not an accountant, so I don't know what the hell is going on. I just pay what the guy tells me to. Uh, no, I just give them all the numbers. Here's what I made. I'm sorry. And uh, how much is the government going to take out of my already dilapidated, uh, you know, paycheck? <laughs> uh Anyway, but it's all good. It's really good. Uh, <clears throat> my chest hurts just listening to that. Yeah, dude, seriously. If you saw what people ingested when you work at a movie theater, oof, you're like, wow, you're just spinning spinning the roulette wheel of death with some of those foods. Uh, if only finally got that bagel. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, but Trump signed something to ensure rules changed for this year, too. It really messed up uh, CPA. Yeah, there's a lot of crap going down that I don't know about it. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Evie's munching, munching. How about a five-day-old pizza with sardines? No! Three-day-old mac and cheese with ghost peppers. No ghost peppers. Stop. Uh, a slushy with mint and herring sauce flavored for Timmy. 
Oh, no, that's too much food for him. You don't want him to get nutrition or anything, please. God. No, you, you, you put scraps. If it can't fit under the door, then, you know, he ain't getting that. Are you kidding me? God, he's a little trying to give Timmy meals. Are you kidding me? Jelly you can squirt underneath it, underneath the door jam with, uh, you know, a little bit of, you know, like a little toothpaste thing. You put it in there with a baster, it's fine. <clears throat> this year, my roommate only got $3 from tax refunds. What the hell? Why even bother? You can't even get a coffee with that. Uh, that has to be terrifying. Can you imagine being told daily that you have Alzheimer's, though you can't remember that you've been told of? Imagine a lot of crying and turmoil. Yeah, dude, no, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Speaking of movie theaters, I'm going to see Super Troopers 2 tonight. Super Troopers 2! Super Troopa. In other stupid news, a traveling nurse got fired from the hospital yesterday because she was caught on camera stealing $3 worth of food from the cafeteria. She'll have to travel a few hundred miles now to find a medical facility that will hire her. For, for really $3 of food? Come on, guys. God. My grandpa had dementia and he knew something was wrong, but not what like he knew he was repeating himself. Yeah, no, your, your, your grand, grandfather had a, a bit of dementia, too. And he would just repeat stories sometimes and he'd be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, you kind of just you don't want to be like, you know, stop repeating yourself. You're just like, yeah, I remember you telling me that and you know, that kind of thing. But the best thing to do is just keep them on a routine because what we kept them on a routine of everything for like, what was it, a decade, you know? And he was like, he was good up until the end for the most part, you know? Then we took him out of his environment. Then he, then he started getting loopy. Eh. Slushies are just ice with flavoring. Yeah, I like that. So Timmy only thinks uh, he's getting nutrition and gets to wonder why he's still wasting away. No, but slushies are enjoyable. You don't want to give them enjoyable food. What kind of torturer are you? You know, oh, we'll give him slushies. It's not really nutritious. He'll think he's getting it. No, 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 no. You want to give him, like, a slushie. Um, no, just just put an ice cube underneath the door. That's all. Hey, thanks. For to follow. That was awkward. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what Timmy did, but he's getting shafted. Um, no, but we should move him to one. No, because it, we we can put him in an air vent, a little air vent. Just prop him up in there and be like, hey, Timmy, how's it going up there? I can't move. Oh, poor Timmy. Maybe the heating would be better. I know. what does he? Do? No, we could. No, nah, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, fix the chair. Hold on. Chairs. Okay. Uh, if they want a big refund, they have to increase their withholdings. It's uh, their choice. I would rather use my money through the year than have it sitting in the treasury. Yeah, I get that. But, um, you know, I had to pay the IRS 125 because I haven't filed for the last three years. Wow. Uh, I almost missed tax day. I took him a check 10 minutes before the post office closed. Oh, you're going to be one of those. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, government loves you people. <laughs> uh, Lindberger cheese. Lindberger cheese with mixed with chocolate. I would say, no, because the chocolate is delicious. Um, give me something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with a gnarly dish. Uh, 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 uh. Pickles with Give me a second. Mango pickles with haggis and peach jello. No, 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 they're not separate dishes. You put them all together in a blender. So then the gelatin, which is peach, will kind of just congeal all the meat along with all the other ingredients. It'll be disastrous for your stomach. Hey, thanks for the follow. I can't even remember what I just said. Okay. Um, <laughs> by the way, off topic, early Amy passed away last Sunday, in case you haven't heard. Everyone passed away this week. Everybody on the planet is dead. 
Uh, the little second I set out a massive sneeze, the stream started to buffer. Coincidence or sorcery? No, I think it's coincidence. I really can't focus today. Why? Don't forget the herrings. No, no herrings. How about just the bones? There you go. Bone smoothie. Um, I can't focus today. I need to get more sleep. I don't know how long it'll be. Dude, go get some sleep. Get some sleep. What are you doing? Don't worry about what's going on here. I felt awful for it. I hate uh, inconveniencing everyone, especially government employees. They already get shafted out. Yeah, tell me about it. God, every time I got to call somebody at like any any fill in the blank government office, you know, they just constantly get yelled at because they're public servants. It's like I feel bad for them. So I try to be as polite as possible. Let somebody else be the uh, one they decide to audit because they're being jerks, you know. Six people got mentioned all in the first half hour. Harry Anderson, Barbara Bush, Minnie Me included. Yeah, dude, so many people. So many people died this week. Yeah, I still have no idea why, who Avicii is. Avicii, no, he was a DJ. You probably know some of his music, but um, you may not be able to place the face. That dude was only 28, what the hell? And I don't even know the people who are even noticed on the list of well-known people who passed. Well, depending, if you're in that, you know, electronic music circle, he would have came across your table at one point or another. Look up his music, you probably know some of it. Without even knowing. Mm. Sykora! What's going on? How you doing? I missed so much this week of Sykora's stuff. I did Tank Girl. There was a bunch of other stuff. It was, I missed things. Terrible. I'm, I'm, a ter- I'm a terrible person. But I resubbed. I resubbed. I resubbed. I'm just letting you know. Sykora, I did it. <laughs> I pressed the button. I smashed it even. Like she comes in wielding knives. See, she's angry at us. Uh, did it. You really want to torture him? Give him cranberry juice. That stuff is... What? Cranberry juice is all right. It's okay. My sister got messed up with her taxes. She didn't file 2016, and because the job she had didn't take out for IRS, she has to go down and have someone go through her taxes. Plus, she didn't have insurance last year at ND 2016. She... She what? She will owe over $2,000. That sucks. Ah, God. It's like, you know, don't get me started on taxes. Electronic music, meh, I don't care for it. So I doubt if I've heard any of his work. Yeah, it's a possibility. I wouldn't worry about it, you know. Mm. Hope you're doing great. We're doing all right. (laughs) Thank you for the reset. Yay! I don't know, thank you for doing your thing. (laughs) Why is this chair terrible now? You ever have a chair that, like, when you're sitting on it, for some reason, it just slowly starts moving backwards? I mean, it was like, you know, we were, right, say, say, say this window right here is our desk. We're, like, right here. And it's, like, 10 minutes later, for some reason, we're all the way back here. And we're like, what the, what the hell happened? It's like our arms are sort of all, all of a sudden being stretched out. And it's like, this was so close just, like, five minutes ago. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Unstable chairs are terrible. Ads need to refresh so I can get bits. Spirit Pegasus, don't worry about it. Enjoy. Just enjoy. Yeah. Hmm. How are you? I don't know who we're talking about. Oh, no, Herman Andy. Okay. There you go. Hope you're having a great weekend. I don't know who that's directed out now. I don't even know if I should answer. See. Uh, the feet get slippery, lose their grip, and every fidget moves it. Apparently. Uh, 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 my desk, my desk. Ah, look. I need a new chair too. Yeah, we need um, what? A new human spine, um, internal organs, legs, arms. Uh, they should probably work on your brain if they're gonna do you know that kind of maintenance. Something a little bit more social. Something not adverse to sunlight. Anyway, let's see. Check your floor. No, it's still there. Repost. Uh, I think it'll be it for me today. I'll see you all later. Please don't forget to make money Monday. I forget. Uh, get that money. Hey, game, game liking. The good news is, hey, 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 you want you guys want to hear something funny? <sighs> you know the eight months that we've been dealing with YouTube and the monetization issues? Nine months, sorry. Um, since it's been running... Somewhat smoothly, literally our 
income has like increased. I'm not going to say dramatically, but by a, a couple of hundred bucks, which ugh, you can imagine the, what was it? Nine months of not making that couple of extra hundred bucks because of all the monetization issues that adds up. So it's like really weird. It's starting to level off, you know, my last episode, unfortunately, got demonetized for some reason, and they're reviewing it. Um, but I got to tell you, it is, it's gotten a little bit better. I don't want to jinx us. I don't want to jinx us. It's gotten a little bit better. But it literally took nine months for crap to just level off. Now, no, because we had like 200 episodes in monetary limbo for nine months. Yeah, that's a lot of lost money. Thanks. God. Ugh. I need a new spleen at this point. I think we all need robots. We all need to be inserted into robots. Just putting finishing touches on the tricorder messenger bag that I made so we can paint it tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Hype. You better be having a great weekend too. Eh. Don't forget you can buy things. Oh, that wasn't even me. That was somebody else. Oh, huh. Good job. Good job promoting me when I don't. Hooray for the increased income. Yeah, don't. It's not like I'm like, oh, cool. I can like, you know, buy stuff. It's just a little bit better than normal. Yeah. If a filmmaker approached with the right offer, would you be interested in documentary about the creative work you do? I think a lot of people would be very interested in how you've done what you've done for so long and so well. Um, I wouldn't call it well, but I would call it a long time. And the documentary would just be this guy sitting in front of a desk for 17 years. Um, you're not very interesting. I mean, literally, I you can... Of your very own. Oh, good. Enjoy. 33 moons. I'm full of hazelnut coffee and nachos for breakfast. Hashtag because adult. That is awesome. Dude, that is a breakfast of champions. Dude, nachos and coffee? Holy crap. I don't got that. I had a, a healthy bar this morning and a cup of coffee. Could have had nachos. And there we go. My desk, my chair is just moving Welcome, back again. Welcome, um, insane individual. Hey, Pope Waffles. 19 moons. Pope Waffles. Thank you. How's, how's your popey, popey life doing? Pope Fiction. No? Religious parody? No? Pope Fiction? Okay. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. And where did I leave off? Uh... We need the exclusive DX. Oh, no, 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 no. The uh, documentary. It's very boring. And it's like, oh, where do you come up with your ideas? I go out. People piss me off. That's liter literally what you've said numerous times. Oh, I went outside today and everybody aggravated me. Speaking of aggravation. Okay. During the fiasco, dropping off the car. If you haven't seen it, you got to go back and watch. We literally we're like, all right, screw this. We're going to get Chinese food. We've been driving back and forth like 50 times trying to drop this car off. We got Chinese food. The, there's or we're waiting for our Chinese food. You know, we got chicken and broccoli, the literally the healthiest thing you can kind of get. Hold on. Fixing my chair. This chair is terrible. It's officially awful. Okay, so we're there, and there's other people waiting for their takeout, whatever. This guy's like, hey, where's my food? I've been, I've been waiting here like 20 minutes. And the guy's like, all right, well, what'd you order? He's like, well, I ordered a sesame chicken. I called it in, and it's just, where is it? And it's like, all right, well, hold on. So he's going through his orders and stuff like that. I'll get to chat in a second. He's going through his orders. The guy's like, this is weird. All right, let me, let me check on that. So he goes in the back. You know, he goes in the back of the kitchen. He comes back out, and he's just like, um, we don't have an order for sesame chicken. He's like, oh, I don't understand. I called it in. And, you know, the guy's like, well, are you sure you called it into this restaurant? And the guy's you know, silent for a second. Well, I mean, I don't know. I Maybe. Well, if you're not sure if it's this restaurant you called, then, I mean, we, we don't have an order. So it must have been someplace else. Hey, I, I guess it was. Um, it might have been someplace else. I don't know. But, uh, you know, since I'm here, can you get me? And then he orders something completely different. Like, he doesn't want a sesame chicken anymore. What the hell do they get? Like, fried rice and rangoons? I'm like, well, what? You called an order into some other place. Some poor Chinese restaurant is now sitting there, you know, with a giant bag of sesame, sesame chicken just sitting there for, like, weeks. It's like, whatever. Yeah, I might have called it in wrong. Whatever. Are you kidding me? What kind of rudeness is that? 
Wouldn't you just be like very apologetic and just be like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I called the wrong place. Let me get the hell out of here and find out where I called. Are you kidding me? There is a goat outside my house on the road. BRB, I'm going to get it off the road and make sure it's safe. Also feed it carrots. There you go. Good for you. You humanitarian you are. Dude, What? who does that? The guy just completely was like, whatever. I know. Does I, I call it cold someplace else, maybe. I'm, don't do that. Don't be rude about it. And, like, even if the guy couldn't remember what it was, what you do is you call the place and say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little late. Where, where are you located again? You know, you call the place back, you know, because it's obviously got to be a record of it in your phone somewhere. And even if you're too embarrassed to do that, you cut and paste the... The actual phone number, you put it in Google, and it'll be like, okay, fill in a blank Chinese restaurant. And then you're like, okay, that's where they are. And you go drive and get in the food that you ordered. And if it's cold, it's your fault because you didn't pick it up in time. You moron. I've been waiting here 20 minutes. Where's my food? Somewhere else. Your sesame chicken is in another castle, you moron. Okay, get the hell out of here before I beat you with nunchucks, okay? I know it sounds stereotypical, but the guy did look like he can just ninja the hell out of this. That dude was, he was fit. Whatever. I'm not assuming they're all ninjas. Don't be stupid. I'm just saying he looked like he could beat the crap out of, out of somebody. And you know what? Maybe. Maybe. And frankly, it might be offensive to not assume he knows how to use nunchucks. <laughs> Whatever. Don't send me emails. I'm not going to re- read them. Um. Why didn't he just check his phone? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Why didn't he just check his phone? Because he didn't care. Because he didn't want to make the trip to rectify, you know, his his mistake. You know, so poor Chinese restaurant is now out of food. And, you know, he's all, he almost got, like, agitated with the... Uh, the the Chinese Chinese food guy because his his order which he never placed there was like twenty minutes late. The hell I phoned it in. No no you didn't, idiot. Shake shake shake, Senora. Shake your body line. Shake shake shake, Senora. Just because it was in Beetlejuice doesn't make it a gothic song. I'm just saying. Thank you. <laughs> we need to throat punch ninjas. Throat punching ninjas. <laughs> There you go. I would love to see nunchucks because I've seen people use nunchucks and do it well. And I'm like, wow, that is amazing. Because I'd be the guy that knocks himself out. I'd be like, Hoop. you know, I watch a YouTube video of somebody doing it right. And then just to appreciate it, watch somebody do it wrong. It's hilarious. Ugh. All right. On a similar note, we have a guy at my work who got his Samsung Note 5 fixed with us, didn't pick it up for months, and now it's having more problems, and he forgot all his passwords and wants us to reset his passwords without losing his data, which is nearly impossible. Yes. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. You're stupid. Sorry, all your data's gone. Did you ever back this up on your computer? Well, no, I didn't think about doing that. Well, that's going to be a problem. You know how difficult it is to back up something that's never been connected to anything that's been backed up? Well, maybe you can just do it on the cloud. No. What? Zapple. One month. That doesn't seem right. I think Zapple's been here for longer than that. The robot, are you messing up? Thank you. Oh, thanks for follow. We get a lot of follows today. If you're new here, follow over there, Up, I think. According to where I am. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. We're going to do a thing. What are we, two and a half hours in? All right, now we're feeling all right. Rose of, Rose of, Rose of the games. No note. No note. Oh, my God. All right, well, thanks. Thank you. Nunchucks, though. Holiest weapon? Does that say holiest? I can't read. Um, Discord? No, that's not Discord. dun 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 Nunchucks were originally a peasant makeshift weapon. Yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, put these sticks together and hit somebody. You know what else was in Beetlejuice? Dio. Me say Dio. Daylight come and me want to go home. Dio. Me say Dio. Daylight come and me want to go home. day Not Dio. What the hell is Dio? Dio. It's like some weird spell. Dio. Daylight come, me want to go home, Dio. <sighs> ah, thank you, but the robot ruined it. Mm. 
Can we get ninjas for the movie theaters to deal with the jerks who text during a movie? I haven't been to a movie since who the hell knows. Thanks for the follow. Um, and I am terrified to go to a movie theater because my human interaction levels are at an all-time low. So if somebody's, Wick David! Ow! I need a safe space! Why does that... The text really isn't showing up on that? My God. Uh, all right. Well, it says I need a safe... Sp Thank you. <sighs> See, you're, you're ruining your merchandising possibilities. Thank you. Um... That was I saying. No, no, no. I, like, I think I might flip out if I see people texting while, they're, you know, watching what the hell ever. My God, what that was the last thing I saw? What did we see? And now I'm going back in time now. Hmm, back in time. Uh, what the hell? I don't even know. Dawn got to see Rampage in Florida, but, I, you know, I'm not going to go see that. Mm. Yes, follow the goth queen. She demands your loyalty exclamation mark dot 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 and your iced coffee. And your iced coffee. I like I liked that use of emotes. It makes me look like I have arms. Look at that. Look at that. Urgh. Look at that. That's good. Good jobs, Apple. Make me look buff. Yeah. That'd be cool. Like, I could be uh, the new Hercules. Pump, pumpkin -les. No, that doesn't work. I'll, just, I'll think of something now. Why is everything so laggy? I want to do a stream Wednesday just to see if the lag is just a Sunday issue. Ugh. I need stickers for my new, lap new laptop. Yes, new laptop. Hope you are having a good day, Pumpkin Man. Pumpkin, pumpkin Man guy. Thank you. All right. You know. Did you say stickers? See, there you go. See, a little self promoter there. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, why would you text while you're watching a movie? What's the purpose in that? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm watching a movie right now. No, it's really good. Yeah, no, I missed what he said, so I'll ask around. What did he say? Oh, okay. No, he said this. Oh, I missed something else. Hey, hey, dude, what did he say? I'm trying to tell my friend about the movie on my phone here. So I'm texting him. Hold on, maybe I'll get a video. Turns on the flashlight, and it's just like, yeah, no, you see? You see? This is good. No, hold on. We can we can Skype. Hold on. Oh, yeah. No, it's a good movie. Yeah, no, it, it's... No, just... Oh God! I really want—I really want movie theaters to just ban cell phones when, as soon as you get in there, you know, or they deactivate them somehow. Uh. Super Troopers Two was fun. Oh, somebody saw that already. Huh. Because people have no self-control and feel the need to text twenty-four-seven. Uh, there is a uh, Guado sent us a DM on Twitter, and I still haven't read it. I'm sorry. I'm just like. I know because everyone's been putting fan art in the discord and he's like, you really should do a, a fan art special. I'm assuming that's what the thing says. I'm assuming no, because he mentioned it beforehand and he was going to send a DM. So I'm, I am literally assuming his message. So he could have just said, Hey, you're an idiot. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it says, but I'm assuming that's what he's saying. So, um, yeah, we got to do that one day. We got to do a fan art special. What are your thoughts on the release of 2001, a space odyssey? Are they re-releasing it? What the hell? Pumpkin Man. Twitcher by day. Superhero saving the supernatural world of Halloween Town by night. Ha Halloween Town's on their own. You know? They don't appreciate me. No, I'm serious, man. Last Halloween was underwhelming where you live. Ugh. We're not even, we're not even making a big deal. Um, at least where you live next this upcoming year in 192 days, I'm just saying. 192 days. Um, yeah. The Halloween Town's on their own. Mm. It's going to hang out with Pauline and uh, work on our lore. Eh. If I didn't have my phone on vibrating during the movie, I wouldn't have known my dad. Pet. Yeah, well, I mean, how how is that? I mean, oh, those instances, those rare instances I'm just saying the majority of people using their phone for non-emergency purposes. Uh, what the hell are you doing? You know, I mean, dude, just give me a break for two hours. That's all I ask is two hours so I can enjoy a movie. 
This is why I really don't go to the theater anymore. Because uh, last time, whenever the hell that was that we went to see a movie, it was just, I just kept seeing reflections of phones and bright lights in front of me. And it's very distracting. Like, if you're trying to watch, say, say this thing's over here, like, oh, look, I'm watching a movie. And there's, like, these little flashing lights here and there, and people are whispering to each other. Da, 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 da. Oh, <laughs> you know, because they, somebody sends them a GIF, and it's like, oh, there you go. I call it GIF, not JIF. Um, come on. Just wait. Uh, look, I just, what? Look, I just hate, what? I pay $7 for a ticket and 10 $11 for popcorn and water, and some jerk is texting, Skyping, ruining my experience. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't, I don't want to be paid to be, you know, environmentally abused. Do you find it harder to find good deal at flea markets or secondhand stores because everyone wants eBay prices? Sometimes, yes. Flea markets are impossible now because everyone's like, let me check my phone. No, 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 don't check your phone. Do you want to sell this now or not? Um, it really depends on where you go. It really does. Uh, you got to find a thrift store that has a lot of old people working there, frankly, like seniors that don't care. They just want to get the crap out. Ugh. But yeah, it is difficult. It is difficult. Mm. Stay away from Skype before watching a movie. There's always going to be idiots that like to spoil and ruin everything. Yeah, this is why I don't talk to everybody. Yeah, this is why we got through Harry Potter, the entire Harry Potter series, 10 years after it was released without a spoiler. I kid you not. We are that much of a shut-in. And like I said last time, it should be a badge. A badge of honor! I have kept away from society so long. Spoiler be gone. What? Hello. Whack. Welcome to Jersey, pal. I'm not talking to you now. Jersey! <laughs> Thank you. Uh... Shh. Zapple, no spoilers. Uh, Alamo Draft House does showings uh, specifically for people who want their phones out and to talk to their friends they came with. Yeah, well, that's the problem. You know, A, if you are here to appreciate the cinematic experience before you, why don't you turn off your freaking phone, okay? You got a, like an IMAX thing here. Okay. What? A message from Agato. He would be here, but is dealing with family issues. Mother is very sick and under stress. Oh, my God. Agu Aguado, no. Good vibes to Aguado. I want to see all the good. Uh, that... Boom, 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 boom. No, man, good vibes. Dude, dude, no, I hope I hope your mom gets better. Oh, my God, dude, that's stressful. Dude, 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 good vibes. You talk to me through what? Evie, yeah, I, that's because I caught the I'm word. I'm the same what? way. I'm usually quiet. I try to socialize, but my mind is like, nope. Quiet. S-H-H. -H. No talkie. Couldn't say shh, right? Um... No, well, Evie, because I saw your message pop up on my thing. That's why I went to check on your DM, because I saw it. I do get the notifications, but sometimes there's like a hundred of them. I'm like, I, I can't get through all these. So it was good timing that I caught yours. Good vibes to Aguado and Aguado's mom. Yay. Good vibes to Aguado's mom. May you be better. Be a little de-stressed. Man, that's stressful, man. <sighs> get better. Get better. The good vibes. They're all here. Yay. Thank you. Good vibes to Aquato. There you go. Even if you don't got access to the emotes, hearts are perfectly acceptable. They're all good. Yeah, where are your hearts now, Pauline? Wake the hell up. Wake up. Oh, God. There we go. Hoping to see the Isle of Dogs in theater, but I don't know how long it will be out. Also, thoughts on Claymation? Claymation is awesome when it's done well. Really? You ever see bad Claymation? Terrible. There should be more like uh, claymation features, but um, good ones. Good vibes. Alamo also does showings for parents with babies. Basically, they're encouraging these types to stay out of regular film showings. <sighs> you know, for that, just stay in a house. If you, if you want to deal with whining children, why don't you just keep them in your house? Do not encourage that behavior. Alamo. Yeah, I remember the Alamo screwing up my movie, okay? And I know there's specific showings for people who want to be... My God, and even if you were a parent with your kid, would you want to go to a theater filled with other parents and kids? 
No! What are you, insane? Oh, I want crying throughout this, this third, three-hour feature. You read the Harry Potter books before the movies? No. They usually tell differently from each other. Like extra parts are filler in movies and the books are told deeper. Yeah, we, we discussed this last week that the books had to be better than the films because I didn't care for most of the films. Like, three out of eight films I liked, you know, and everything else was just like fluff. I'm like, what am I doing here? Why am I watching this? Harry Potter, shut the hell up, you little whiner. Like, flat out, that was my perspective on it. They weren't horrible movies, but they weren't fantastic. They were mediocre, you know? Thanks for the follow but the, I really, I still like the first one because there was the literal magic and wonder and the discovery of it all. But, um, yeah, and the second one was kind of good. And then it just started getting, like, I don't give a crap about Quidditch. I'm sorry. I don't care. Just be lucky you found a ball. If it's in the case, leave it there. You know? This isn't a game. Let's go check on the Charlie. What did I miss? I don't know. How's Charlie? Charlie! How's it going? Um, uh, you didn't miss much. We're just talking about things. I know it's not like anything... Crazy happens here. Fantastic Mr. Fox. There, hearts for everyone. Hearts for everyone. Conklin. I go to the drive-in to avoid all of that insanity. Plus, I get two movies for the price of one. Two movies for the price of one. Drive-in double feature. Where the hell do they still have them? Where are you living? In the 50s? What the hell? They're like in the, in the, in the uh, oh my God. What is it, William Castle Wonderland, where everything's a double feature. And you'll be guaranteed to be scared. Remember, if you don't believe in ghosts, used what, the red glasses? That was uh, 13 ghosts with him. If you do believe in ghosts, just don't, whatever. Oh, there's the heart. A little late. Thanks. Um, Wes Anderson, overrated hipster filmmaker or underrated hipster filmmaker? Hipster, hipster, yes. I would say... Depending on the film, and I haven't seen every single one of them, Rushmore was great. Royal Tenenbaums was good. Um, what the hell was the other one? I didn't see Fantastic Mr. Fox because I did not like the character designs. Life Aquatic, I didn't care for either. I will say he is very good visually. Putting those scenes together, or whoever the set designer is, he has a very good sense of color and artsiness about him. So I will say he is... Both under and overrated, depending on what it is. You don't automatically think it's awesome because it's a Wes Anderson film, you know? Like, oh, it's so intellectual because it's a Wes Anderson film. You have to like it. He's so brilliant. It's like, yeah, maybe. Depends on the film. It really does. But like I said, I do like most of his work. I do. So, you know, but I just don't, I don't blindly love all of it. Darjeeling Limited is my fave. I, I didn't get to see that whole thing, but visually, I, I've, saw, I've seen scenes, and it looks great. Our drive-in open this week with Avengers. Wow, Avengers. Avengers. We still have two drive-ins in Colorado. Really? Wow. But I don't have a car, so drive-ins don't help me. Rant. I lived next to a drive-in in the 70s. I would go inside during the day and turn up all of the speakers on the poles and then sit in my yard at night to watch the movies. There you go. See, that's pretty cool. That's where you can watch movies from afar and still hear them. It's pretty good. Ah, that must be a fun experience. We should do that one day. Get, get Dawn to find us a uh, drive-in theater so we can... Oh, God. Yeah, everyone's just going to be sitting texting in our cars anyway. Huh. Uh, thank you. So far, it seemed to... Wow, okay. Drive-in is still a thing. Cool. Mid-rated. Mid-rated. Yeah. How about uh, a film-by-film film rated kind of thing? Even a Wes Craven had misses. Wes is a good name for movie makers, right? We got Wes Craven, Wes Anderson, uh, Wesley Snipes. Uh, it works. Charlie says hello, and he's doing very good in school. He's doing all of his classwork. Oh, dude, awesome. Way to go, Charlie. Charlie! Good for you for being polite and doing all your work. Because that's important. No, who wants to be rude and not do their homework? Because then you just get yelled at and people don't like you. Good job, Charlie. You're doing it right. Yes. Rant. And there was one upstate New York. Ugh. Uh, upstate. God, is one in the five boroughs? Come on. No. I have nothing of worth to say. Okay. 
Thank you, though. I, I don't even know how to respond to that, but with a thank you. I like to go to a drive-in in a tour bus. Oh, one of the tall ones? How about the open top ones? That'd be good, yeah. Greetings and sound. Steampunk Grizzlies the Grizz. How's it going? You doing all right? Hope you're doing well and feeling well. Somebody's got to feel well this week, right? You know, God, just the, this week's been a downer for everybody. Hellraiser is still the best horror movie. The best. Oh, come on. Come on. It's a good movie. It's not the best. You know, people be like, what's a better mil- but better film in the horror genre? It's like, oh my God, there's so many, so many good horror films. Uh, I don't know why I'm making wow sounds. I'm going wow. I'm doing it again. Shut up, me. Let me get something to drink so I'm not making weird sounds. What? There were three drive in theaters in Connecticut? Get the hell out of Watch! Really? Three drive-in theaters in Connecticut. That is amazing. I didn't think Connecticut had anything but uh, trees and uh, condescending attitudes. Wow. And totally being ignored by the Weather Channel. Huh. Strange. Now we got to look it up. Thank you. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I saw Hellraiser when I was uh, nine, and the movie always uh, stick with me. Oh, God, that is a crazy age to be watching Hellraiser. Oh, my God. Uh, Even by today's standards, like being older, I'm like, that's still a little off-putting. It's such a good film. Two driving theaters by Texas. Wow. I have an update on my dog. She is back home now, but a bit shaken up, and I told the dog sitter that I'm not paying her because of what she did. Good for you. Seriously, I'm glad, I'm glad, yay, the good vibes finally worked. The dog is returned, shaken, but okay, I'm hoping. Heard the words Upper State New York and just Googled it. There's a drive-in theater 40 minutes away from my house. Oh, there you go. So if you're bored, there you go. Have the experience of a drive-in theater. Saw Chucky when I was eight and scared the hell out of me as a kid. Nightmares for a week. Ah. <sighs> They're making a, a series. They're literally making a Chucky series. I don't know how that's going to work, but it'll be fun. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? Ah, so good. That guy's voice is awesome. Mm. Thank you. But okay, uh, great. I'm glad. To, uh, no, I, want, I got distracted by the dog thing. So cool. Dog's back. Um, The dog sitter is the worst on the planet. Hey, dog sitter, you're terrible. Why don't you... Hold on to the dogs when you're walking them. That's kind of a thing. That's your job. Dog sitter? Watcher? Dog watcher. Don't watch it run away. Schmuck. Uh. Cult of Chucky was funny. Yes, Cult of Chucky was funny. That was actually like one of the better uh, Child's Play movies. Did you listen to the theme song? The theme song that got rejected. There was a theme song that got rejected? No. I'm pretty sure the dog sitting literally requires that the dog be okay during the time of the sitting to warrant payment for service rendered. Yeah, pretty much. Right? Oh, well, you know what? I mean, what do you do? What are you going to do? You're going to argue that if you're the dog sitter? Saw Freddy Krueger when I was four. Didn't scare me much for some reason. There you go. Good for you. Look at that. Hardened horror viewer. Like, ah, eh, Freddy Krueger, whatever. Thank you. Please know Chucky for the love of God. What's wrong with Chucky? I like Chucky. I like Chucky. Uh, I was scared by the original It. Never liked clowns. Oh, yeah, if you don't like clowns, that's going to be a problem. Mm. Saw so Freddy Krueger when I was four. Didn't, oh, no, you're just right just so doing. This week's episode, Chucky goes to Chuck E. Cheese. That'd be pretty good, you know? Who wouldn't want to see him murder a, a rat-looking animatronic? That'd be great. I don't need nutrition. Chucky, the series. Featuring Jennifer Tilly. Pillsy sitting at least what? What? Pillsy sitting. At least the kids don't didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Uh. Chucky series. 
Uh, what are they going to do? Uh, kill the uh, kill a doll every week? Um, yeah, they can do that now. If you haven't seen Cult of Chucky, there's a there's a loophole now. It could just go on forever. It's crazy. My mom plays dog sitter once a week. Her payment is usually hilarious memes. She's easy to pay. Ah, there you go. Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, God. Are they ever going to make that Five Nights at Freddy film, or is that canceled? Speaking of dogs, what I had to do two years ago was the hardest thing I ever had to do uh, was dig that hole. Aww. Root for the villain in horror movies. You will not be as scared, if at all. Yeah, I can see that. I'm waiting for the new Halloween movie. It's going to come out, like, at the end of 2018. Looking forward to it. The biggest nightmare fuel for me, uh, dolls are creepy. Oh, dolls are cool. Go see the movie Dolls. It's by, uh, I think, Charles Band. Full moon picture guy. Hmm. I saw Night of the Living Dead when I was a kid. Terrified me. Until just recently, I had an irrational fear of zombies, and until I was 10, I had a habit of locking the car doors whenever we'd stop in a graveyard to put flowers on the graves. Yeah, I would kind of do that anyway. I am off to bed. Hope everyone has a good day. Hope everyone has an awesome day and good vibes to all. Famicom, thank you for being here. Enjoy the slumber. Thanks for the follow. And yeah. No, maybe it's just New Yorker mentality, but anytime I park a car anywhere, I just lock the doors repeatedly. Like, I, I, I triple check them. Oh, thanks for the follow. Because um, there's no way I, I am just leaving a car unattended with or without me in it. Ugh. Joke for you. What? Ribbed condoms don't even taste like ribs. What if they did, though? That'd be good. Come on, Trojan, work with me here. Uh, day of the Living Dead. Uh, Living Dead movie. I mean, what? Oh, best of the Living Dead movies. Day of the Living Dead. You mean Day of the Dead? I just got up. What did the miss? Ah, uh, usual nonsense. Mint gummy bears taste like mint jelly. Really? Oh, I hate those. There you go. Mint jelly tastes like mint gummy bears that's why i spit them out all the time i'm like oh look the green oh it's mint uh, oh it's mint and it's not covered in chocolate it's terrible i watched tommy knockers when i was two it when i was six and my mom used to read me goosebumps as bedtime stories i love horror movies my favorite series is Resident Evil. Evil. I love zombie movies. Ah! I'm still yelling about the men. Ah! <sighs> Mint. Thank you. The Resident Evil is all right. I I didn't see like the last two films because I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah. No, I just kind of, it, it ran out of steam for me as interest goes. What did we see recently? I think it was uh, Underworld, the new Underworld. Um, they, I, lo I like the atmosphere of those movies. It was an all right film. It was an all right. It was serviceable. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Blumhouse announced that they signed Chris Columbus to write and direct uh, what FNAF movie. F Hold on. The Five Nights movie is still happening. Directed by Chris Columbus, director of Home Alone, Mrs. Tapfire, and the first two Harry Potter films. Produced by Bloomhouse Productions. That seems weird. You know, Home Alone? I thought that was John Hughes. Didn't John Hughes do Home Alone? Who the hell did Home Alone? Zapple did an ah clip. Bambi vs. Godzilla. Yeah, that was that was uh, left a lot to be desired. Mm. Chucky vs. Jason or Chucky vs. Mike Myers. How about Chucky vs. Jason and then whoever wins got to fight Michael Myers. And then after that, they got to fight Jason. And after that, it's Pinhead. Remember when yokai are supposed to be scary and gross demons, ghosts and goblins in Japanese folklore? What happened to that before they went Pokemon on us? 
Oh, no, they still got weird little demons and goblins in their things. Like, every time you see something evil, it looks like some kind of Japanese demon or evil entity. I really do. Speaking of which, there's, um... Oh, my God, there was a name of an anime that's got a unique thing, and I'm probably not going to pronounce it right. Where is it? Oh, God. God. Ugh, good, good luck. I'm trying to read this. Good. This will give me some time to try to pronounce. I love horror, though. I just had a fear of zombies. Now, when I was a kid, if you gave me goosebumps and are you afraid of the dark, I'd be happy. Ooh. Ghost stories, too. And scary stories to tell in the dark. I hated what they did to those books. The original drawings were so much better. Chitin. Yes, they were. But they ruin everything! You know, I gotta make everything nice and whatever. The, the anime with the uh, very unique style that I actually wanted to see, but I can't find it anywhere. Uh, hold on, I gotta read it. Katanagatari. Katanagatari? Is that how you pronounce it? Katanagatari. Katanagatari! Katanagatari! Oh, God, I can't pronounce it. Whatever. It's an anime. I want to look at it. No big deal. Um, no, we're talking about horror. Chucky vs. Leprechaun. Because they can be the same size and have some silliness. Yeah, there you go. What, is Chucky going to steal his gold? Because he needs, uh, what, new doll parts or something? Mm. Sounds like a good game. What? Oh, what did I miss? I love to see Ash vs. Chucky. Yeah, they, they're... Uh, the Ash vs. the Evil Dead got canceled, by the way. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. They did. It's over. But apparently the writers planned for uh, the series being canceled, so there probably won't be a cliffhanger kind of thing. I think they'll tie it up, which is kind of good. But I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that it just you know didn't didn't kind of work. But three seasons pretty good for horror, frankly. I thank you to drive in links in your Facebook page. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Bum bum bum. Ash vs. Cult movie monsters. Yeah, eventually that's. <sighs> I have a feeling everything is just going to be a mashup of everything in, in, as cinema goes. You know, I, I want the Avengers of horror, you know, where you have Pinhead and Jason and, uh, you know, Michael Myers and all those supernatural people, you know, that could be hanging out with the ring girl or the grudge kid and all that stuff and just put them all in one movie. I want the Avengers of horror. Come on, work on that. Katana Katari looks interesting. Yeah, it kind of does. It was it was interesting because it was just like um, every once in a while we do searches for unique looking anime because, you know, God, you know how much anime looks like it's we like to find a weird stuff. And that had a very sophisticated yet simplistic style. And I kind of wanted to look at it. So I did some research. It turns out I was driving him to town. Uh, I had two years before it was thought it was torn down to regular movie. Theater. What was the point? I have no idea. Only three seasons. No. What did they do to scary story of the Little Dark? I think they changed the uh, the illustrations in there because they were too scary. Freddy, Jason, Leather, Freddy's Chucky, and I guess Pinhead, if you uh, look at the original concept, and Freddy for Jason. That would be good. Graboids for Xenomorphs. Oh, they're making, um, what was it, a freaking uh, Tremors series with uh, Kevin Bacon. And I think they're going to try to get the other guy in it, too. Right. Just realized, the best part about a drive-in is that we can take the pupper with us instead of having to see her sad face when we leave the house. Oh, you got to have a little distance so your dog doesn't get separation anxiety. That's bad. You know, it's like you leave the house and you hear whining and barking and... Eh, then you come home and your neighbor's like, your dog's barking for like four hours. Eh, well, you know. And the Stephen King monsters can be the guardians of the galaxy of horror. And Death Note can be the Doctor Strange of horror. Yeah, sure. Smash them all together. Give me a good movie. Avengers of horror? I believe you're referring to Tom Cruise's Dark Universe no, smile. No, no. I said good. Something done good, okay? Not some half-ass schlubby kind of thing. At Jim Mathers, Universal Studios was going to make a Dark World multiverse, but it kind of flopped. They shouldn't have started with a mummy, or they should have gotten a better script. Better script is what we needed, and I am aware of the Dark Universe, because um, I live in it. Um, but it, it's... Uh, my hope for that, just, it didn't pan out, because you know they're not going to follow up on that. If anything, they're going to do the Bride of Frankenstein remake 
assuming they actually do that. Um, and they'll probably just, you know, put out a movie here and there, just rebooting an old horror franchise. But I doubt they're going to be connected um, because the atrocity that was The Mummy with Tom Cruise. So, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you think the uh, unearthly creatures can't be killed, but they can if you put Tom Cruise in it. Tremors 6 comes out soon as well. I thought it was already out. I think it's already on uh, the Blu-ray. I think it was like a direct movie thing. You could probably stream it somewhere. I think it's out there. It should be out there. It better be out there. I heard it was out there. Probably out there. See. Cujo versus Pennywise. How about Cujo versus Monkey Shines? Or Cujo versus, uh, I don't know, a very demonic petting zoo. I'm, I found Katagari Subversion on a website. No, I, I I know I don't even think there is a dub version of that, so that's like a reedy for me. But I, w I would actually like to watch that. Rant. Tom getting bitch slapped by the mummy. Classic. Yes. And it's an enjoyable experience every time you see it. Even a slow-mo when you go frame by frame. Speaking of anime, to know if it's your cup of tea. A bit of an old folklore about vampire shiki anime. It gets pretty dark, but it starts at slow. Pretty underrated in. We are aware of it. We are so aware of it that we actually have it. So there you go. We still got to watch it, though. <laughs> no, because we saw it on sale and we had to buy it. You know, we're chumps. But yeah, it's there. It's sitting there and I'm going to watch it whenever I'm not exploding. Kevin McAllister versus Jigsaw. Oh, how about uh, Chucky versus the little Jigsaw puppet? That'd be pretty cool, right? That'd be good. You infuse the little puppet with supernatural powers, and that's a thing. Eh. Yeah, whatever. It's weird. I didn't really care for the Jigsaw movies after, uh, like, the Saw movies. Basically, after uh, the first one, frankly. I was like, oh, yeah, why not? And I was like, all right, whatever. Don't ask me why. Cujo versus Beethoven. There you go. Cujo versus Beethoven. That uh, big doofus of a dog. Cujo versus the dog from Duck Hunt. There you go. Get Nintendo into it. Chucky versus Slappy from Goosebumps. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. I want to go and sell by team up with Christine the Killer Car. Hell on wheels with an army of undead pets. How about Christine versus Knight Rider? So you can have the good and bad. Come on, you, you dig up Hasselhoff, you just throw him in a car again? That'd be that'd be pretty cool, actually. That'd be interesting. Who wouldn't want to see that? Do it. Come on, let's every everyone who loves the eighties and keeps reusing those ideas. What the hell not? What else are you doing with it? You know? Come on. Japers Creepers 3 is out there. Yes, it is. The Bride of Frankenstein movie has already been scrapped. Oh. The writers posted online that their offices on the Universal lot were cleared out. Also, the Dark Universe flopped due to lack of bombing. I told you! What the? No, she, she slept through the whole thing. Because even a script didn't appeal to her. She was just like, whatever. She would have made a good Bride of Frankenstein. Or Mummy. Yeah, but what's her face who played it was actually pretty good. What is it? Sophie, Sophia Buffova. I, I can't pronounce her name. Um, hmm. There's also Yami Shiba, which was a series of Japanese ghost stories and myths retold in the style of reminiscent of Japanese paper art. It's weird. Japanese paper art is hit or miss with me. I either like it or I don't. Because I've seen so much of it, surprisingly, that I'm like, all right, I've seen enough of it. Mm. Oh, now you're awake. Now you're awake when the dark universe is dead. Good job. Um, da, da, da. What's up? Macabre Cat. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Cujo versus Zombie Dog from Resident Evil. Oh, there you go. Uh, why not keep the mummy... Keep the mummy woman. No, she's... They... I, I'm not spoiling it. Um, Kit had an evil car he fought was named Car. Yeah, well, I know. That was like... And that had the... Uh, what? The evil version of... Uh, what the hell his name was? Uh, he had the little mustache. It was stupid. I hear they're going to make a Chucky versus Annabelle movie. No. Get out of here. thing with Christine, though, is that the card doesn't stay destroyed. She fixes herself and continues on. That's what I'm saying. They got to figure out how to do it. You know? 
That would be a good movie to remake, actually. Christine with the current technology that they have in uh, special effects or whatever. Because, dude, that was... How many of those cars did they destroy making that movie? Oh, my God. Mm. Amazon is saying May 1st for Tremor 6. Oh, all right, cool. All right, I thought it was out already for some reason. Pauline can just look at you and you crumble the dust. Psh, dust. Oh, she doesn't have any spooky powers like that. Aside from her very icy uh, physicalness. Um, I don't know. What kind of spooky is The hair. Okay. I don't think hair is a superpower. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're Samson. but Anyway, um, does anyone know of any good horror animes? Um, horror animes. Huh. I don't know. Right. Kill Dozer. Kill Dozer. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, give me a second. Situate. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Rant. Uh. Cujo versus Church from Pet Cemetery. Ah, there you go. There you go. Cujo Pet Cemetery thing. There you go. There you go. Now you're thinking. Uh, I'm thinking about giving back into drawing. I haven't since freshman year of high school. Should I just start practicing again? Because I'm, yes, just draw. All right, just draw. That's all. Do a lot of sketching. Do as many sketches as possible of something. Like the human body. If you could draw the human body, you could draw anything. What? Kill Dozer versus Christine. There you go. Twitted you. Cut the Nagatari anime site. Okay, cool. Thank you. Cool. No, because now we got to get on that. Uh, zombie Bob Ross versus Zombie Mr. Rogers. Well, it's either a beautiful little day, beautiful day in a neighborhood or is it going to be happy trees? Or happy trees in a beautiful neighborhood but they're all covered with blood because you know zombies i'm sure that'll happen too oh black butler there you go black butler has its moments i suppose high school of the dead wasn't bad more apocalyptic than horror not sure about gore, uh, gory horror mm, gory horror I'm trying to think i wish i was more well-versed in horror i'm sure somebody out there is uh versus stories of the audience what Oh, come on. That was kind of fun. Um, her anime. Celeru! Here you go. Black uh, No, I was, oh God, I just read that. All right, I must be getting tired. What is it? Yeah, 3.15. Okay. Um, still waiting for The People versus George Lucas 2. Oof. Parasite. Oh, yeah, Blood. Blood the Last Vampire. That, Blood Sea. Uh, Undying Love. There you go. Kiki gets pretty gory. Yes. Another is a really good horror anime. There is death and blood and stuff, though. Many kids die. One lady who helps them dies in an elevator crash. But I really loved it. Oh, there you go. Another. Right, put it on the list. Sorry I'm late. My intestines have been trying to kill me since last night. I'm in bed watching on tablet. Hey, how's it going? Get better, man. Why is everybody sick? I don't know. We're not doing too well either, but it's just like, wow. This is just like a bad, bad week. Bad week for everybody. Mm. Requiem from darkness. Take a rusher. There you go. Everyone's doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break because I need more liquids and I need to dispel some liquids or it's just going to get very messy around here. So, uh, oh my God. How am I going to find a bathroom on a rooftop? God. All right. Yeah. This gun guy, you're in charge. Lake Placid. Awesome film. Betty White made that film. Betty White! <clears throat> Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, come on! Let me go. Oh, good good job speaking. Wolfnick, thank you. Silence shouldn't be a random... Two oh, and a half years. A lobotomy is in order. <sighs> Higarashi is a great horror. Mind screw anime. Okay. Let, let me go to... Thank you. Let me, uh, we got to do like a, a stream during a time when we can eat before it or after it. I'm like, I hate being hungry during it because it's like... Rrr. All right. Dark Crystal. One movie. Shoot. Live action. Puppet. Oh, yeah. There you go. There. They're not. They're making another one. They're making another Dark Crystal. 
Uh, rant. Fluid swap successful. Yeah, there we go. The reason they use tentacles in anime, it was illegal to show humans having in, in fluid Japan. Fluid swap what? successful. What are you doing? Stop, stop swapping fluids. Keep them to yourselves. Gah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Mm. Hungry man is an angry man. Why did that repeat? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Why did it repeat? Robot? Let me see. Uh, it shows up as two separate things. I don't know why. It shows up as two separate things. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Weird. They're doing Muppet Babies remake, but not with Muppets. But with not with Muppets and CGI. What does that mean? I'm hangry right now, but between intestines and locked joints that hey no go, dear lord. No. Oh, the Master Spanx, get better. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the hero this city deserves, but not the one it needs. I am Darkwing Duck. And I, uh, yeah. Darkwing Duck is going to be crispy When chicken. I was looking up an electro music playlist, YouTube auto completed it to electro swing. I have a new music genre to love. Can't stop listening to it. Just makes me want to draw. It's fun. Electro swing is fun. It's like, din, 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 din. but it's not all old and stodgy. Yeah. See, that's where like rebooting some or repurposing old music is pretty good. But there you go. Mm. Thank you. Didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Getting food is recommended. Evie, Evie, you should get food. Weren't you eating? I could have sworn there was a nom nom earlier. I don't know how long ago that was. Well, no, it's only been three and a half hours. Electro swing is a thing. Yes, it is. Look it up. No, look at look up a playlist. It's actually kind of fun. It's fun. You know, it's got the nice uh, uplifting sound of swing, but with just more of electronic sound to it. That's pretty good. Some of it's hit or miss. Some of it's just phoned in, and you can tell when it is. All right. So what what I want to do is no, because we got to talk about future streams kind of thing. Um, no, because we've got to approach this two different ways here, right? What's going on here? Disney wants to do Muppet Babies with motion cap and CG puppets. <sighs> it's 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 not a puppet if it's CG puppets, motion capturing puppets. You have the freaking puppets. Use the puppets. What are you doing? Why are you gonna put little dots on a puppet and then waste all that money animating them? For what is? Who's thinking? Is anyone thinking? What? Whatever. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. So, so streams, right? Okay. Because we've been having our, like, you can be having your little ailments. No, because we got, like, some, you know, ailments, things, blah, blah, blah. Basically, we can't sit long. We can't stand long. We can't do certain things long. We got the carpal tunnel things. We got the leg things. We got the back things. We got the stomach things. We got a plethora of ailments that are deterring us from working or standing or doing things for long periods of time. So, and I'm not going to get into details because it's boring crap. So what we're going to try to do is in the future, shorter streams, but more of them. So we're probably thinking, um, hmm, maybe next Sunday, maybe next Sunday we can start doing two hour streams starting at noon and then maybe another stream during the week, also two hours, probably maybe Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, Wednesday. I, I'm not scheduling this right now. I'm just whatever. Another two hour stream during the week. And we're probably going to see how that works for our physicalness, physicalness, because it's like either that or we just start doing like six hour streams in wheelchairs. So, like, in all seriousness, we got to, like, be on top of it, but I still want to stream because we're that type of person. That's right. So, well, I mean, I got to keep you posted. So, if you're doing a Twitter thing, which is probably in our title, that was good. 
you actually put your Twitter in the title. So follow up on that um, because we might do one during the week and just make it just a little shorter. You know, starting next Sunday, not this week because we got a lot of crap to do this week. Um, what is it? Also, they got rid of Scooter and replaced him with some new Penguin character. What was wrong with Scooter? Wasn't Scooter like the the gay Muppet? I thought he was gay. No, bring back Scooter. Scooter was cool. I like his glasses. They were pretty cool. Um, Wednesday, please. As regular birds like, Wednesday, please. Um, yeah, and that would probably be later in the afternoon because I keep doing morning streams. and It's like not everybody can be here in the morning, but we'll see. Dun, dun. It's dead to me. Everything has to be CG these days because popular. Uh, look at the trailers for CG films on YouTube. They are viewed millions of times on the, on the trailers for Hotel Vents. Tra- Hotel Transylvania 3 is watched 7 million times. I got to say, I, I saw the trailer. Um, zero interest. I didn't even get through the trailer. That's how irritating it was to me. I was like, oh, hell no. Ugh. Whatever you need to do to get better. Yeah, we'll see. It's just, you know, it's more frustrating than anything else. I'm just, I'm tired of the, uh, 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 the ailments and all that other BS. I think we're going to have nuggets tonight. I think I want some nuggets. Mm. I know the Muppet Babies was in 2D, but it sucks. They can't just do it with Muppets. Why? Yeah. Why not just use Muppets? Who cared about Muppet Babies? Did anybody care about Muppet Babies? Was that a thing? Remember the Brits took the word Muppet and turned it into an insult for someone who was stupid. Yeah, I am very aware of that. You Muppet. <sighs> so, like, if they try marketing the Muppet movie in <laughs> in England, that's not going to go over. Oi, you want to see the Muppet movie? No, what, are you a Muppet? I'm going to see Muppets. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You what? Oh, God, the marketing just that went horrible. I don't know. It did everywhere, good everywhere in uh, the world except for England for some reason. You know, somebody at Disney's like, ah, well, Muppet kind of just means idiot. So we're trying to market the idiot movie. Oh. Yeah, okay. Nuggets with mint jelly. No. Why is everybody trying to push this mint jelly into my eyeballs? It's terrible. It's like Sunday morning cartoons. Sunday morning cartoons. Uh, Muppet Babies was done with real puppets in the original version of the Muppet Family Christmas special and the Muppets movie Daydream Sequence. I didn't even know that. I just assumed it was a cartoon from the 90s. Eh. Hey, Decker's Decker's gonna be here. Decker! How's it going? Got a bond for the week this year. Cool. Um, Yeah, so, I mean, we'll we'll try to do that. We will try to do that. Um, You know, starting next Sunday. I'm gonna have to change some graphics up. Um... Just because we, what what was it? You were working on a cartoon for like four hours yesterday and it started getting a little cripply. Um, so we're going to try to adjust for that. So we got to do like literally a, I want to say physically balance, a, one of the physical balancing act of keeping certain ailments at bay for a certain amount of time. It ain't going to last forever. I'm just letting you know that. Eh. The Spickle Me 3 trailer has been viewed 35 million times. I didn't even see it. I didn't care about it. Um, dun, 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 dun. I actually enjoyed Hotel Transylvania 2 up until the very end. Uh, that's God's powers, and then suddenly I had full mastery. Yeah. It's, that's where the first film, Hotel Transylvania, seemed to have better character development. Then once all the characters were developed and they were out there, people were like, all right, let's put them in a stupid situation. And that's what I got out of Transylvania, uh, Hotel Transylvania 2. For me, it was like, oh, here we go. Kid antics. Yeah. I'm like, please, come on. Yeah, the undead masses in a hotel, and you're worried about some kid running around like it's an old Tom and Jerry cartoon. Oh, look, baby, baby's walking off and wandering into a dangerous area. What? My God. You could have summed that up with a Roger Rabbit cartoon in about 10 minutes. Ah. I enjoyed the Deadpool 2 trailers. Yeah, well, though, you know, Deadpool, come on. Uh Stop caring about Muppets after the Muppet Show stopped in England. Oof. Dun, 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 dun. Muppet Babies started in the Muppets Take Manhattan. I don't even remember that. 
Eh, I don't think that can mean 2D movies can come back. I mean, Claymation is popular. Ah, I don't, I don't even know. Um, God, what's that studio that did, uh, oh, God, Box Trolls and Paranorman? I forget that studio name. Le- Leica? 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 Leica Leica? Whatever. Um, they do some good work, and hopefully they can kind of just, you know, bring that into the next era of stuff. Uh, just showing how popular CG's are these days. Even the trailers are watched to death. Yeah, I know, right? It's just like the trailers. Dude, I would love if one of one of our episodes got 35 million hits. That would be great. Okay, that's like literally you can retire off that. My God, 35 million hits. Whew. Amazing. Probably not. Uh, drop it in the best message before you go live. Uh, I've got push notifications on for Twitter. Oh, okay, cool. We'll let you know, Danker. You know, but again, we're not, it's not like we have an unruly party here so yeah we have some strays on a wednesday stream to come in and they're like oh oh pumpkin guy you're stupid all right man hey if i'm so dumb why are you here now who's really the dumb one the person being dumb or the one watching them oh yeah right throw it right back at him you're throwing it throwing it what are you gonna do you're gonna catch it no no you can't because you're stupid because you're a muppet okay (laughs) i miss jim henson show storyteller with john hart i don't even remember that Mm. I forgot about that box troll was a thing. I didn't really care for box trolls. I like Paranorman. Um, like they did, uh, they did Coraline, right? Um, and I think they did the Kubo thing, which I haven't watched yet. But I, I didn't really care for box trolls for some reason. Don't ask me why. It's just it, I don't know. Mm. Eh. Why are minions such a huge thing still? I have no idea. Leica or whatever. Paranormal Kubo Kubo is amazing. I haven't seen that yet. Mm. We need to save 2D 2D animation. Uh, I think 2D animation is just going to be like cartoons you see on TV. It still boggles my mind that they made a Garbage Pail Kid movie. Yeah, but at least they had real puppets, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. Still, the more I get situated, resituated, the more uncomfortable I am. Yeah, that's the telltale sign. If I keep disappearing, I'm like, oh, God, pain. Oh, God, pain. We'll fix it. I'll try. Foamy, the movie, bent in all safe spaces. In all safe spaces. Yeah, I wouldn't even know what to do. I'm going to do for a movie. I wouldn't want to do CGI, so it probably uh, wouldn't even be uh, an actual movie that would be put in movie theaters. You'd have to do 2D stuff. And people are like, oh, it's 2D. It doesn't even look like Minions. It's like, have you, have you been keeping up with anything for 17 years? Please. God. Mm. Though I will say, with all the ailments going on, I'm really glad you switched over to the easier way of animating. Oh, my God. No, seriously, like, if you had to do the old school way of that he was animating, the, the newer one is like, at least the cartoons will be done on time. Holy crap. Eh. More like costume actors with animatronic faces, fuel for Garbage Pail Kids, the movie. Yeah, but still, at least it took some kind of, you know, building materials. Hmm. dun dun, dun. They were kind of like creepy looking little things, though. Kubo no One String was a good concept story, and a stop motion is great, but it's a little too drawn out. Uh, much of the scene seemed like filler. Mm. I think why the, re- the reason why they have all the films be in 3D now is so they can justify the like $30 million budget. It's like, oh, well, it's, it's $30 million because, you know, hey, hey, we got to make character models and stuff like that. It's not like traditional animation. You know, just do a traditional animated um, movie, you know, for probably like $4 million. You can make a lot of money that way, you know? Hmm. Yeah, even though I think $4 million is like really drawn out because uh, according to Japan prices, an anime episode, one anime episode takes about, Twenty to thirty thousand dollars with music and everything. So if you just say, okay, you know, twenty minutes here, twenty minutes, and you just math that, you're basically looking at a uh, hundred thousand dollars. Maybe if you want music or something like that, two hundred thousand um, dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars for a full length animated two D feature that would probably be pretty good. I would actually put in an extra hundred thousand dollars just to make sure that the animated sequences are done really well and there's a lot of fluid movement and action sequences and whatnot. And there you go. $300 million. Screw it. I'll make it half a million dollars. I will do a half a million dollar 2D uh, foamy to squirrel kind of freaking film. And you know what? Hopefully the profit margin would be there. I don't know. I think we're kind of a cult thing. I don't know how well we would do. We'd be that, that movie that opens up in a theater and you, you hear about like seven tickets were sold. And you're like, oh, okay. 
All 3D movies are done in 2D before turning into 3D. Well, what's the point? Why don't you save the step and just release it? I know, they do storyboards and crap like that. Um, Take your nephew home. Thankfully, he's graduating this year, so I might be able to stay for the whole stream in the future. In the future! That's good. Well, you know, chances are if we do the extra stream during the week, I have no idea what we're going to talk about. We literally use up a week's of conversation in the four hours that we're normally here. Yeah. I still prefer the original Despicable Me. Oh, dude, the original Despicable Me was tremendously good. I love that film. Do you like any of the Studio Ghibli animated movies? Um, God, I have I have a list of ones I wanted to watch, um, and I forget what they're on. Like the to watch list, I think I've seen like one or two of them, um, but I can't even remember what they were because they were like background stuff while somebody was working. Ugh, which is sad. I know it's sad, but hey, you know, it's either that or nobody gets foamy cartoons and they'll yell at me. Um, and NBC, what? To be fair, that anime fan service doesn't come cheap, pumpkin guy. Hey, I'm fine with that. I'd rather spend a little bit more money, you know? Dude, $500,000. I, I can literally, if I was hiring Japanese animators that get paid $6 an hour, um, Dude, I, I can make a, a awesome, awesome film. I really could. We could. Because we know all the little tricks of how they do to make things, you know, a little pan and scan with dialogue in their head and all that. We know all that. Yesterday, I made it through the day without beating anyone with my cane. I think my people skills are improving. Oh, dude, that is good. Dude, get yourself a cookie. Dude, I would love to just go through a whole day without beating somebody with a cane. You know, but it's so difficult. You know, you're an inspiration. You really are. You know, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an example from them and just be like, you know what? This cane doesn't need to be shoved into somebody's eye socket. You know, that's good. You've inspired me. Aquatine Hunger Force movie is so bad. I fell asleep in the theater. Really? I don't even remember most of it. <clears throat> I remember the "I Want Candy" song. That's all I remember, and that was in the, I think, an episode, not even the movie. But it was on the soundtrack. I know, Gravity Falls is doing a box set. It's going to be a Blu-ray. Blu-ray box set for Gravity Falls. Hopefully it won't be an arm and a leg. Maybe I can buy it. Arm and a leg. What, what time is it? 2.38? Yeah, we're going to have to wrap this up soon. Good. Because we're on for 3.40. 3.40. Pauline Anime, gimme. Oh, my God. What? No, you've been working on... Uh, uh, in your free time. You've been trying to do... Stop it. Okay. Um, you've been trying to do like little anime uh, doodles. Like if you haven't been on the Instagram, you know, some like little anime style doodles. But you have kind of like a weird version of your style style with a dash of anime in it. It's kind of strange. So I don't know. Maybe work on it. Maybe get some nice fluid in Yeah, because that won't take time. Mm. Maybe do a manga because you're not going to have the, the budget to do a whole film. Why don't you do a manga? A manga. A manja. Do a manja with us. Come on, for Halloween, it'll be great. After you do the lore. If you can't buy it, I might buy it for you good, sir. Smile less than three. No, 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 no. Come on, you've already done enough. <laughs> Chill. Save the, save the money for an emergency. Whenever that is, you know, could could happen tomorrow. Save it. You should just pre-order that box set, actually. Pre-order it. Go. Pre-ordered. Okay. We're good. We're good. Don't buy me. We pre-ordered it. No, I'm very quick. Mm. Anyway, uh, how do you decide what to watch off of your lists? What to watch off of my list? Oh, the list that we have. Um, basically, if it's on Netflix or Hulu and, you know, we're in the mood, which is... Uh, Ugh. No, because you ever look on Netflix and you're like, all right, let's see what I'm... And then you just start browsing. And before you know it, you've spent the time it would have taken to watch a movie browsing, looking for a movie. And then you're like, oh, well, I just I just watched browsing for two and a half hours. Oh, gee, I should have watched a film instead. And then you just keep adding stuff to your list. And before you know it, you've wasted all that time adding stuff to the list that you don't have time to watch. So we don't know. Whenever we're in the mood. I don't know what to happen. What is wrong with your brain? It's like everything's got to be aligned properly for that to work. Ugh. Manga. Manga. 
Manja. Antarctic Press did that partway anime style. Looks as a, a fan art manga. Yeah, that's that's kind of what your your alt style looks like now. A weird uh, fan art version. Like, you know, it could be good, but not quite. Yeah, see, see, people who do that. Yeah, oh, I browsed Hulu and I added like several shows to my queue, but it's like, I don't have the time to watch this. I do that with music too. Like we're just, we're browsing through Spotify or stuff to listen to. And they're like, oh, I'll listen to that later. I'll listen to that later. I'll listen to it. And then before like 40 minutes pass, I'm like, I could have listened to a whole album. The hell? Pauline Manga. Where do I subscribe? Eh, give it, give us, give us, give us some healing time here. Oh. Just add it to my growing list of months reading. There you go. Bom, 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 bom. Yeah, they do a lot of, uh, manga style stuff like disney is really hitting that hard with like the japanese manga for like uh freaking pirates they did pirates of the caribbean like manga for some reason what why would you do that there are films out there it's over pauline oh, no i already heard that just like adding to my wish list i know right you just keep adding stuff to your wish list look at all this stuff and you're like i'm never gonna get to this but look how big the list is yeah hmm don't you hate that when you go to be in a mood for certain shows and movies? You want to watch something, but like, no, no, not that, no. Literally, that's that is like every day of our life. Like what we don't we like we can't watch shows if it's like not the right atmosphere, mood. It's like what the hell's wrong with us? Even when we're just sitting there vegging out on like Twitch, it's like oh, I'm not in mood to be engaged by entertainment. I don't know what's wrong with our brain. It's terrible. Black Lagoon is the only pirate anime I need. Black Lagoon. Welcome back, Evie. Evie! Ugh. Yeah, my throat's starting to go anyway, so... Ugh. Dun, 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 dun. 73.41 on Amazon for Gravity Falls. Ugh. You know what? Hopefully the price will fall on that. God. Well, that's not coming out till uh for a couple of months, right? Like July or something? I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, and if it drops to a... Pr- I don't have the pre... Pre-order price guarantee, right? I hope. I'd be I'd be fine with that if I could get it for like sixty or something like that. That'd be that'd be reasonable because it was a, well worth it. Robot. Robot. I don't know if I should read it. He has carpal tunnel. Poor thing. Um, you're not going to have to have surgery for it, are no, no, you? No, 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 no. Actually, the carpal tunnel is really good because we got, uh, come on, bring it out. Bring it out, your braces. Bam. Braces, 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 braces. That's right. We've been uh, bracing ourselves up. So our arms are actually doing all right. You know, yeah. But it's just like we got the legs things. We got some back things. Yeah, all that other BS. Um, no, because I don't like to get into details because it's like everybody else has got problems too. You know, I'm just you know, kind of doing my thing. So I don't want to dwell on it because it's no fun to dwell on crap. So what I want to do is just figure out a way to be able to reach more people by having an additional stream, but just making it shorter. And I can't leave my Sunday crew because every Sunday, man, I look, I like coming out here and just like shooting the poop. Isn't that a term? Shooting the poop. I don't even know what that even means. Where did that even originate from for having a conversation? Who does that? Who just sits there and sh- wastes bullets on feces? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, hmm. I might stream. I need some distractions. Distractions! Ebi Dimit streaming? Uh, let's find out. Dun, dun, dun. This is what happened to the... This... Oh, this was happening with GameBots over on Cheryl Shakur's stream too. What was happening? Duck, duck, pumpkin guy. You are the most considerate streamer online. Thank you. We're, we're kind of considerate. We try to be, you know, because uh, we've been in society where people aren't considerate. And it, I don't like that. You know, I'm not going to be one of those people. Hmm. Thank you. Let's see. Screwed the pooch is also a phrase for messing up. Yeah, like what? I accidentally, oops, dog. What does that even mean? You know, like you're waving it around and all of a sudden dog. That doesn't even make any sense. It's a term now. Yeah. 
Oh, out on the prairies, there are sometimes no other targets. Also, it's a metaphor for a waste of time. Okay, I can see that now. You've made sense. Thank you. Now I get it. Wake! The Gravity Falls Blu-ray collectors said is just under $50 on the Shout Factory. So oh. Shout Factory being the ones making it. There you go. 50, 50 bucks. Shout Factory. Thank you for that. That's what we're, That's where we're going to get it then. Shout Factory. They do some good stuff for the most part. I don't know if they did the... Uh, the 2K remaster of the Burbs, but that I did not care for. I was very upset. Very upset. Eh. Anyway, thank you for that. Oh, save us money. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. If you think shoot the poop is a weird saying, what about... Oh, yeah, poop-eating grin. What is a poop-eating grin? I can't imagine... I, I, I would assume that means you're crazy because if you're smiling while eating poop, you're nuts. You know? That is just craziness. Shooting the poop comes from a uh, cowboy times when you are waiting for someone. Might as well get some target practice in. All right. See you again. People making sense. Shout Factory, makers of the Power Rangers DVD sets. <laughs> uh, I'm glad somebody's trying to preserve a physical media version of stuff we like, you know? God. Mm, 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 mm. Yay, everything works. Everything works. Everything's good. Everything good. Ibadamin, you stream it? You good? I have to head out now and get some food. Have a good week. Pauline, everyone, pumpkin guy, me, and you back there. Mm. Enjoy your week. Zeke and I. Yeah, so if Evie's going to be streaming, that'll be that'll be very helpful for us because then I cannot die. Um, yeah, we've been on for like four hours anyway. We're going to have to edit everything. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. Can we eat first? Can we eat first before we edit? Have some bits. Yay. Less I'll take than three. Gimme. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. That's called a fetish pumpkin guy. I don't know. I, I don't get it, but who am I to judge? No, when it comes to that, you you have every right to judge. Because that is uh, a mental thing. They need to make a box set of every Studio Ghibli movie. Uh, just to save money and trouble getting them one at a time. Eh, it'll happen. But by the time that happens, it's like, you know, come on. Eat your adorable pumpkin. Yes, I'll try. I looked at Shout Factory and it says seventy nine ninety nine. Oh God! What? I'll find it. We'll find it. Don't worry about it. Bye. Do eat first. Don't die. Don't die. What are we gonna do Sundays then? I know, right? No, we really got to be serious about the healing up kind of thing because we're getting into the, uh, you know, I would say detrimental, permanent detrimentals. So we really got to take care of ourselves. Really got to do it. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep doing our thing. And Evie's dropping the links. Dropping the links. There we go. Evie Davis streaming, saving the day. All right. So hopefully starting next next Sunday, we'll probably do like a two-hour stream, maybe around noon instead of 11 in the morning. So it gives a little bit more time for people to filter in. Um, you know, we'll work accordingly. We'll have to see how we feel. Please ask Dawn if she would... Uh, join us next week. That was the other thing. We wanted to do some gaming streams with Dawn. There might be something else we'll add on, but we'll let's just see how the schedule works first. You know? If you don't go rest, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, God. Here we go. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. No, Ibn Demon told me. Ibn Demon streaming. I go sleeping. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, everybody, thanks for being here. And Sparkly Barista, Shabbat. DVD version is $48 and Blu-ray with limited edition lithogram is $80. Oh, that's why the D oh, Blu-ray. I need my blues. Really? Again, a lithogram. Lithograms. Lithograms. I'm not supposed to eat lithograms. Not a bad. They make my innards all glossy. Um, so there you go. Evie's going to be streaming. Everybody, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting. Like, every while. Apparently, poop-eating grin comes from the very satisfied look animals get from eating their own feces. Ew. And this is why I like cats better than dogs. I'm just saying, I've never seen a cat eat, or eat their own crap. Anyway, so there you, go. there you go. Hockey time, there you go. Start slapping pucks around. Um, okay. Uh, again, we'll be here next Sunday. Uh, yeah, I don't know. thanks for keeping up with this and dealing with our progressive ailment. 
roller coaster. I'm going to stream after Eve Demon. Excalibur Slide CH Share One. There you go. Dude, look at that. You guys can have a whole day of just hanging out with each other. You don't need me. I don't need to be here. <laughs> I know, I sounded a little drunk there, like, you don't need me here. You don't even love me. You just, you're just here for Eve Demon. You don't matter. I just, whatever, I'm going back, I'll be in the corner over here. You let me know, and you want to talk to me, okay? I just, no, I love you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> okay, everybody get out. Thanks for being here. There you go. Wick David does a thing, too, tomorrow. So you can be here for, like, literally 48 hours, and everyone will be streaming. Hey, shoot out. That's it. Now go, 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 go. Play your uh, candy song, and let's, shoot out. Let me get some food. My God, I'm dying. Maybe that's why we're having all those weird little ailments. We're uh, nutritionally deficient. Dude. <sighs> Coffee is not nutritional. That's that's your uh, tip for this week. Coffee is not nutritional. Delicious, but not nutritious. There we go. Go.